now 32 years of the age. Nice. Soon be 40. my 33rd year. Don't do this to me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> just everything uh, breaks, man. Just like, I've, old. Got, I've got COVID and it's just not fucking left me. I hurt. I ache. Well, no one's no one is actually like live, live, live to the world, yeah. are they? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm live. Right you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, okay. I'll I'll not say what I was about to say. Cool. Apologies. Tell us later. I I cannot hmm. give you the streaming now tag, Q. You. you are too much of a big deal. Oh, I apologise. I've, I've been an administrator. I've got it. I've got, I've you been got an, it? A, been an, a, a cinnamon in, um, uh, administrator for a very long time. And I, I, I haven't done the job once. I don't you, know, you know why? You know why you kept it? Because you haven't done the job <laughs> once? Yeah. Yeah. Because I have had it and lost it, had it and lost it, had it and <clears> lost it a number of times. Do I have it? I fuck no, because me and you fuck with people, Soviet, <laughs> yes, we which do. is why we don't have it anymore. It's half the fun of being an admin <laughs> fucking with yeah, people. I, I fucking yeah. know, right? Just yeah. let me, like, let me pull people into a channel and do <laughs> creepy shit at them. And the yeah. ones that don't immediately bin out or freak out will probably do well here. Let me give them all the sock of silence and, and mark half the team speak as a furry. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you can mark half the team speak as a furry without being an admin. Oh. Yeah, you can right-click pretty much anyone and add tags to them. It's, um, not, no, it's, um, not, it's yeah. not as fun now. It's not as exclusive. It's not. No, you <clears> literally, <throat> I could make you a furry if I so choose. Hold on. <laughs> Step furry. Oh, no, I think on, I, I already am. Oh, I took it off you. Hold on. Let me Yay, I'm no longer a furry. Here we go, furry. Someone will love me. Uh, fuck <laughs> it. Let's give you a fail bot while we're at it. Aww. And massive balls. And potato. Oh, you already were a potato. Hold on. Let me reset potato. There we go. Problem yeah. solved. For some reason, I am an all-American hero, and I have no idea why. <laughs> <laughs> so, gentlemen, we just killed a Githyanki goth, or emo, or something. Yeah, so the, the boy that we abducted from the Githyanki crash, the egg, the one that was late to hatch, whether he was marked for greatness, we don't know. Um, he's marked all over this floor. Um, yeah. He was apparently quite... Here he is. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. Are you putting him... You carrying him around, are you? He's a trophy. Yeah, so it's kind of kind of like a sort of teenage adolescent Githyanki who that, that basically was stolen by the Society of Brilliance or something like that, who are basically um, a bunch of boffins. I, oh, thank on. you, Winterix. Thank you very much, Winterix. And you, and thank you. The Society of yeah, okay, all right. Okay, <laughs> just... in, in our defense, they paid really well. Or more accurately, he was stolen by you. I mean, the I, there, I seem brilliant. to remember we, there was some complicit... We were playing instruments to distract them. We were yeah. there, remember? We're part of this. Hey, yeah. I was I was merely the bard man. You can't blame the guy on the stage for right. the crimes that happened you in the back of the tavern. Blame the getaway driver. No, to exactly. Be... I'm just driving the car. I I'll be able to enter some sort of plea bargain because the real <laughs> crime is that uh, Soviet's ginger. So that's, I'm not that's the ginger. real crime here. <laughs> not bloody ginger. Right. Whoop. <clears throat> okay. No, you don't. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> See, the, the, we just fucking, like, you know, shoot arrows at each other, throw us off cliffs and stuff, mm -hmm, but it, mm -hmm. it, it's always Dirge that pulls the Thank Eldritch Horror out of his pocket whenever yep. he comes to fuck around. You know, he's a, always hits some, like, some ancient fucking evil rune what, that just what, pops up. What happens if he, if he can't speak dead on my chest? Oh my god, it's just going to be, like, the an orchestra or the some shit. Damned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. I'm trying to remember what we were. I think the plan. I can't remember exactly how we got to. I'm, I'm pulling to you today, Soviet. Yep. Um, I can't remember exactly how we got here or what my name is or anything like that. But mm -hmm. um, I can remember that I think we were trying to get access to the uh, the steelworks where the uh, where the automatons are made. Mm. Um, yeah. I think there was the suggestion, and again, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, really, I'm piecing together thank a half built jigsaw here. And thank you, Sam. But like, there was the suggestion that there was some sort of like. Semi psychic, like sort of creature that they were using to control the automatons or something like that. That was down in the prison. Did it say creature? Uh, they were yeah. holding. It wasn't a creature so much as they were holding people hostage, so that the workers in the factory would keep Ugh. working. Basically, um, um, so yeah. the gnomes. So yeah, the gnomes, gnomes from Act One that were in the Underdark. A lot of them were taken to Moonrise Towers, okay, and some of them were then taken here. And it looks like some were kept hostage, and I think the rest are in the steelworks that are making these steel watchers because gnomes are quite crafty. Mm. Right. Okay. 
But yeah, so like I don't know. I'm, it could have been something I read in a book, to be yeah. honest. Like, uh, and, and it could well have been. I could go through them. I've got thousands of them now. But like, it, it, it seemed to suggest that like the way that these automatons are controlled is that some kind of like semi sentient creature is used to control them. Like or some some kind of like semi psychic creature is used to like control these. I don't know how true that is, or yeah. whether I'm even remembering that right, but. I don't remember that. I just remember no, that Gortash... I, I, he got arsy when we got near the prison. Yeah. Either way. Yeah. So, what's the plan now, gentlemen? Well, I think the plan is to gain entry. Um, I, like I say, we kind of got sidetracked by like a really cool submarine prison. Yeah, that was thing cool. Other, yeah. But now I think the plan is to sneak into the massive factory where the Steel Watcher made. Um, with, with hopefully the plan of either... Maybe not shutting them down, but yeah. uh, certainly trying to get them out of the control of Gortash. Yeah, so that we can use them against the Absolute? Yeah, exactly. Like, because right now these are kind of like... I, I imagine that once the battle for Baldur's Gate is over, like, these are going to be a device of oppression on the city. Like, they're kind of like phony, sort of mechanical heroes right now. Yeah. The, the second the fight is over, it'll be used to a, they'll be used as kind of like massive oppressive robots 1984 or something yeah you know, kind of thing robocop but he's on the side of the baddies yeah um uh, so robocop is never mind Actually, that is just yeah that's just robocop, robocop isn't it yeah <coughs> okay but yeah that's uh so which way uh, this way down this way yeah let's I go think, uh, now I, I can't remember exactly but like i think i raided one of the like letter boxes out the front and they seem to suggest that there was like the, a cleaning crew was going to have to go down into the sewer or something like that. So I'm okay. wondering yeah. if there's a way, or like whether there's a way to 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 actually get into the sewers <laughs> and then come up through the bottom of the foundry. Hmm. Yeah, so there's two ways that I've seen so far, um, and it depends what spell scrolls you guys have. Many, many, but there is this a vent here. Ah, is there a, ah vents? And if you can well either spotted. make yourself small or um, have, have like a gaseous form spell scroll, which I do have, but unfortunately it's only for um, one person. Hmm. The other way is on the roof there is a uh, open window on the roof that Let's can let us into um yeah it's difficult to get up there it was a bit for you fiddly. hang on and mary poppins yeah you stand back and watch this roof here hang on oh so there's not enough space Wh which roof are you talking about this roof oh hang on how the hell do you get your camera up there yeah I can't even reach the camera um, up there, mate. It's tricky. Uh, it just goes through. Click oh, no, no, you're right. I've got it. Here we go. Whee! Right. Well, yes. I guess I'm burning my one use of fly. <laughs> <laughs> right. We'll see whether or not I can uh, ritual my way up. <laughs> uh, the tiny man, what's he going to do? Uh, just, just behave. Uh-huh. Uh, too high, too high, too high. I could let high. down my, my, my red locks of that, hair. I mean, my brown I, locks of hair. Tell, tell you what, hold on. Yeah. I'll sort you out, don't worry. I've got a dimension but, door. No, I've no, got, no. I've got a way up. 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 It's all, it's all no, good, no, it's tiny fine, man. I've fine. got you. Yeah, it's all right. It's fine. Finish. Hang on. Target is out. Oh, hold on. I can see it. Come here. Come here. No, it's fine. I've got my own way up. Like a defiant teenager. There we go. Yeah. There we go. I'm up. Well done. Yeah, I was, I was trying to shoot. I was trying to here. shoot you in the face with a transportation arrow. Nice, nice and sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah. So, oh, well, well done for finding this one up. Yeah. Yeah, I did it. Um, uh, oh, whoop. last session, I think. Whoop. But essentially, yeah, there's a window here that we can jump, jump down into the factory. I never want to be easy, but. In my chat, say I don't need a scroll of small to fit in the vent. There's <laughs> <laughs> uh, a bottle of grease, and off you go. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Like Danny DeVito. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah. Oh shit, there's a water on the roof. Run, 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 run move. Ah! Garris, get out of there. Ah! 
Get out of there! Get there! Run that way, Cass! Are we okay? We're good. We're good. It's all you. No, it didn't. We're fine. I just, I must have just missed him. Yeah. Okay. Right. Where to? We're going in. Oh god, it's coming around this way now. Huh? Huh? Uh oh. Oh. Uh, do we drop down? Do we jump down? And we need fucking feather falling. Do we? Okay, fine. He man, you can get down there. But the rest of us, the rest of us need feather falling. I okay, think you're I right. need feather fall. I might need feather fall. Right, I just need feather falling. Can I get feather fall from someone? No. Uh, yes, yes, okay, I can quickly cast one. Feather falling. Get down there quickly. Go. Quick, 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 quick. go, 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 go. Jump, 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 jump. How, how can you how can you pan your camera? I can't see. Oh shit, I landed on you, sorry, man. How, how, do, you, how do you pan the camera? I can't see. Just just, just fucking jump down the clicking, hole. I'm clicking, I'm clicking, I'm jump clicking. Down the hole. Okay, wee! <laughs> sorry, 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 Digby. Sorry. <laughs> My bad, Digby, sorry. Okay. You're very soft landing, thank you. Sneak. Sneak, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. I think they might be about to kill the fucking gnomes. You got very quiet. Down there. Beg and scream all you wish, you will die today. Uh, yeah, we might have to get down there. Oh, look, it's Ifran. What the fuck? What? From Port Divinity. Where? Is his name Ifran? Ifran. Yeah, Ifran. Ifran. Oh, is there not an R in there? No, it's Ifran. Yeah, if, 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 Ifran. Ifran. Ifran Ben Mez. It's not no, it's, Ifran. Ah. It's Ifran. It well, is Ifran. Well, he's down there, Ifran. and he's working Level for the enemy. 12. He looks a bit different. All right. Uh, we might want to get we want to get down there, lads, if we can. Yeah. Oh, apparently yeah, Quebec is right. It's Fan. We're both wrong. It's Ifran. Is it Ifran? Yeah, there's an R in there. I F R A N. Yes, the guy down there, not not the guy. No, we're talking about Divinity and and the guy down there. Okay, no, the guy down, the guy in Divinity 2 is Ifran, the guy down oh, here is Ifran. Oh, okay, Ifran. then I'm talking shit, I'm totally wrong. I oh, thought it was Ifran a, with an R. Oh, there's a there's a lootable steel watch greatsword there. Really? Are you going to be... Where? <laughs> Over there. Oh my Ooh. god, grab that shit. I want to swing that. Yeah, it's a fucking huge sword. Look, that is, that is shocking. Is that a Surely real sword? Not. I don't know, oh, it's can lootable. only be used by steel watchers. Okay. Uh, uh, there seems to be some sort of altercation happening here. I wonder what. <clears throat> okay. Hold on, I've got to watch a targeting module next The to targeting module, an optical focus device, is fitted within the watcher's helm to enable aiming of the harpoon bow. Fuck. I wonder if we can sabotage a fucking steel watcher to kill, um, oh, like, Gortash. Hitman style to ah. kill Gortash. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, there's pictures of Gortash up around the city. I bet that's something you can do. I, I think I've got... that's something you can do. Do I still have it in my inventory? I do have a portrait of Gortash, or I did. Hang on. Still watch your arm unit. I can't look at this one. It was somewhere. I, I can steal this targeting module if we think that we can do that. Because that would be fucking hilarious. That would be really hilarious. All right, I'm going to oh, fucking Sorry. steal this targeting module. All right. Wait, could you put it in the Steel Watcher that's in the online over here, Digby? Uh, maybe. Make it work for us. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Um, Let's have on. a look. I'm just going to go fiddle with my thermostat. Hang on. Uh, I do not appear to be able to interact with it, but there is a... Yeah. Eight Steel Watcher Mark 1 prototype. Oh. Prep, 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 oh. Hang on, you might. There might be some truth in this because it says there's a sign right at the front door that says "Preparations for Lord Gortash Facility Tour." Imagine, <laughs> he, imagine, imagine if he comes here and then he, one of the watchers like activates and rips his head off. Oh yeah. Ooh. Surely he wouldn't Ooh. do it. Like literally, the the fucking what's it's outside the gate. Who knows? Surely now is not the time for a facility tour. <clears throat> okay. Right. Have we lost a man? Where's Dirge? I'm uh, sneaking up on the Gatwalks. So looks like there's a computer over here. Computer? Computer? Okay, it's a... Uh, it's a, a big thing. Oh, yeah, here. the submarine class said something similar. Ah. Locked door here, uh, sneaky man. Do what you do best. I'm just wondering whether or not we should, like... Get involved with this whatever altercation is, or maybe yeah. leave it till the last moment. Uh, I don't know. I think I, I we should. Get... We might want to get involved because they they might be about to kill the workforce. Yeah. There doesn't seem to be many of the workforce left. 
There's a lot in... of coffins over by me. Mm. Looks like they're preparing to get rid of them. Well, why build a full-size coffin for a for a tiny? Surely, twice, half the resources would be necessary. I imagine they're probably one. going to double yeah. the stack. Yeah, yeah, top, yeah. And, top and tail. <laughs> As a security office, should I pick my way in? Uh, didn't we find one yeah. over here behind? Oh yeah, you're literally looking at the door we were trying to bring you to. Off, Gareth, can you come over? Your weird widgety grub in the jar makes me get advantage. All right. <clears throat> yeah. You mean the uh, steep in blitz? Thank you, Ninja yeah. Chuka yeah. and Captain Blow Up Doll and Shannon. Thank you all of you. Thank you for your kindness and thank you again, Winterex, and welcome everyone. I'm here in uh, in Baldur's Gate alongside my three knobhead friends, Digby, Social, and uh, Quebec. I agree. We need to be fucking careful of that. But I'm a knobhead too, so it's fine. My screen, guys. Uh, you can look through another one and see where the... You can look through a sky screen and see what another sky screen is looking at. It's like those um, fucking globes from Lord of the Rings. Yes. It's yeah. like a Palantir, but d and d -E. Or call, one of the mirrors from Divinity. Call yes. Cargo Elevator. Go down below. Have a look at this sky screen. Oh, there's a They're table just... here. I can combine items on this table to create something. It's a diagram of mechanical hmm. designs, not just written, but ridged, so that blind fingers can trace out their shapes. Blind there's fingers? A, Who's blind? There's a couple of things in here uh, speaking about the Gondian gnomes. In this uh, thing, I'm currently eating noodles, so I can't uh, read it. Let me have a look. Scrying screen. Next time's the charm. Oh, it says next time's the charm. I think you were the only one that saw it? Might not be the time. In the desk. Ah. Uh, we've got hostage census. <clears throat> guarding the Gondian gnomes. Baiting the Elder Gondians, Brain times yeah, two. Gondian gnomes. That was guarding it. the Gondian gnomes. Right, uh, okay. Let's have a read. Gondian was, Gondians, I'm sure, were those, like, creatures. They're some way affiliated to the Steel Watch. Thank you Gondian... very much, Fenny Fenris. Thank you, Fenny. About the Gondian gnomes. Bainite Confidential. Though it's important to cooperate with our siblings who worship Merkel and Baal, remember that Bane is the tyrant. It is Bane who rules. Subversion and capture of Gondian, operation, uh, Gondian operations of Baldur's Gate is a Bainite project, particularly as regards the Gnomus artificers. They are ours, or more particularly, mine. They are not to be tadpoled, as that would expose them to control through the absolute hierarchy. Instead, they are to be locked in incineration collars that are remote controlled by Prinsky's motivators. I want those gnomes aware of what they are doing and deeply unhappy about it. When the Watcher project is complete and the artificers of no use, the survivors will then be tadpoled. Lord Gortash. Huh. Charming. Right, so there's a workforce here on working on the Steel Watch that is not tadpoled. Ooh. Oh god, the Emperor as interrogated <clears throat> by Gortash, part three. Gortash, okay. when we captured you, you were a rogue, an autonomous elithid beyond the power of the Elder Brain that transformed you. The Emperor, that is correct. Gortash, when we brought you back to the psionic ambit of our hovering friend, the Absolute, your defences were overwhelmed and you returned to your former servile state. The Emperor, also correct. Gortash, how did you escape the control of the Elder Being in the first place? Ah. Emperor, in my original humanoid form, I possessed an exceptionally strong personality, so much so that even after seromorphosis, I was still substantially myself. Of course, I concealed this beneath a semblance of perfect servitude. Gortash, and that's why the Elder Brain was willing to send you out of the colony on scouting missions. Emperor, yes, as I told you before. Gortash, how long did you feign your mental slavery before you were able to escape? Emperor, 13 and three quarters years. Gortash, until you were finally given a mission to Baldur's Gate distant enough to be out of the Elder Brain's control. Emperor, that is correct. Gortash, remarkable. Emperor, that is correct. Gortash, and you don't mind that we brought you back under psionic control. Emperor, I am entirely devoted to the needs of our Elder Brain and of, of its masters. Gortash, you're not lying about that, right? Emperor, correct. That would be impossible. Okay. That's not going the to work. Emperor might be working for Gortash. Uh, I, I'm sorry, my brain, I'm trying to remember like the timeline of the Emperor's like, freedom, because everything's mixed up in my head now, because the dragon said that it freed it, and now I don't know who to believe. Restricted Wait. area. Entrance only with Lord Gortash's permission. 
Violators will be executed. Yeah, sorry, everything's everything's screwed up in my head, so I don't know what's going on with the Emperor. Like he oh, wants yeah. Emperor is lying about freeing himself through his own personality, the dragon freedom. Oh. Yeah. I mean so that bit must be true because the dragon's dead. I mean they were, they clearly had a huge fight. So this says down here the steel watch foundry below. However, it says lab level warning plague written on the door. Hmm. Iron throne hostages. Tuesday roll call. Amelia Tubin, Phoenix Lubbins, Hastar Biggs, right. Marlono Randall, roll call interrupted by Flo Hapgood, deceased. In uh, addition, all the Raven Guard arrived by a submersible detained in solitary confinement. So that's the prison um, we met those. It's not a plague, it's just a plaque, so we'll not have to worry about any diseases. Oh, sorry, you misread the word plaque. Oh, did I say plaque? <laughs> no, that's fine. Why did I say plague? You said plague. I did. Design, <laughs> the plaque, you. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so um, blind fingers are we going to say Midlands the... education coming out. Yeah, should we... let's, are... release, let's release the gnomes. Let's go yeah. save the gnomes, because I think we're about to leave the area. I think the braille is for me, so... <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, let's go. Right. So I'm kind of worried though because if they have explosive collars, maybe we try and deactivate those before the altercation. Could do. Uh, agree. Don't know if we're going to be able to. We might just have to get in there and kill them did, rapidly. Did Did you ever figure out what was going on with the computer or weird thing on the other side of the room, mate? Um, that's uh, dirge. Weird sort of sparking, arcing. No. Oh, oh, hold on. There is, no... there is. There's a steel watcher here that appears to be absolutely still under construction. Might want to investigate that. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be interactable. It's just a machine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Hold on. There's another over there through the front doors. Okay. I think it's. I think it's time we make ourselves known yeah. downstairs. Let's go start stabbing. I want to stab things. Right. Everyone ready? Anyone not ready? Ready. I'm ready. Uh, not, not, not oh, ready. Shit, shit, shit. Hold on. Do that. Right. How much farther can I go? You have beaten Taken their and eyes. tormented us to the brink of insanity. You cut out my eyes. Gondians, rip the motivator from this bastard's hands. For Gond! Oh. Oh, okay, the slaves are just uprising on their own. Yeah, I think because we killed all of the, um, we we freed the other prisoners, didn't we? So, okay, right. Uh, so, in which case, if it's my turn, I know. Look at you. I know. I, I picked a stat that gave me more initiative. Um, okay, so looking at what they are, any ranged amongst them? Uh, no, not really. Uh, not that I see. Okay, so I'm going to misty step here behind these two, with my bonus action. Then I'm going to use uh, my main Fish. action. Oh, never mind. Ignore me. I am I'm muted too early. <laughs> Sorry, did you just hear me yell the word fish? Fish, yeah. I apologize, apologize for that. So, uh, I use my main action to get giant's form. Oh, whoops, I thought we had taken a short rest. My mistake, we have not. So that's all I can do, I'm afraid. Uh, so I will just wait here and threaten these two. Good luck, Mr. Digby. Right, first things first. I'm going to call my friend out to play, Mr. Air Elemental. Uh, and I'm going to also make sure he has a shitload of armor. And I'm going to summon him right there. Nice. Booyah! So, that is uh, my go. And then I'm going yep. to <clears throat> make an offhand attack with my little uh, my little crossbow. Tiny crossbow. Patoy! There we go, have some of that. Then the Ur Myrmidon is going to use his electrified flail on... Uh, Iron Console Malik the Cruel. Ah. Well done. There we go. Uh, and then we'll Elemental Warp to here. Th thank you very much, Dark Hojo and Fenny Fenris. Thank you both of you. Please, any turn. Okay. Before Q goes, um, I'm going to fly down and join combat. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Jump in. <clears throat> Where are you? You over there? Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm not in in combat yet. I just want to see if I. Okay, I can't 
Cat there, he's friendly. Uh, nope, couldn't sneak. What's your turn anyway? Right, fly forward with them. And I'm gonna cast Blight on a friend. Ooh. Nice. And then turn. Okay. Right then. So, I am going to shoot at Black Gauntlet Tarmia. Uh, the Black Gauntlet, um, the, the sort of the weird bullhorn's helmet, I think we encountered another one of those at the top of the fireworks factory. So, the, I, and my guess is that the Black Gauntlet people are kind of the sort of officers or commanders of whatever uh, the Baneite plot is going on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark her with a Hunter's Mark. That will provide me one bonus D6 worth of damage and cost a Tier 1 spell slot. Uh, that takes my bone. Thank you, Hiltram. Thank you very much, Hiltram. Well, ambush, a free attack I get on the first turn of combat uh, for 20 to 34 damage. Ooh, fucking hell. Very nice. I'm then going to follow that up with a second attack, a ranged attack for 19 to 26, just a basic shot. And she's on 6 HP. I'm going to assume that the Gondian Gnomes might be able to finish her off. Um, before she gets her turn, so but I don't know whether the target priority is going to be any good. What do you think? Should I just put her down or tr trust that the Gondian gnomes will kill her? Uh, put her down. Just, yeah, put her down. Just there. Uh, yeah. Me. I'll shoot her in the chest. Good night, Holst. Dead. Prinsky's motivation oh, sequence activated. No, uh -oh. the motivator. Deactivate it. Hurry. The motivator. Uh they're all going to explode unless we deactivate that motivator. Uh, when does it get its turn? Right at the very end. Yeah. Uh, but none of us get a turn before then. No. <laughs> I think I've killed all the gnomes. Oh no! I think I think it's just. Can you touch it? Run over and touch it? No, I've got no action. I no, can't, not, I can't, no I can't get there. No, I can't get to it. Can anyone I undo their turn? I think I might. Can you do anything to it? Not enough resources. Uh, uh, does anyone have a push in haste? Uh, no. Uh, Do you have. Can you even drink it this turn? Uh, bonus action, drink it. Uh, no, I've got no potions or anything like that. Nope. Neither yeah, do I. Whoops, so what? all the gnomes might be dead. Unless they can touch it, I don't know. Uh. You Shit. may have one, Mr. Womble. Uh, a potion of haste? Yes. I just uh, searched for haste, but it did not show. No, I have no potion of haste, sorry. Speed, they're called potions of speed. Speed? Uh, nope, no potion of speed, sorry. I'll search my bag, but I, I definitely don't. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, I've got nothing. I got nothing. Well, oh, well. I, don't, I don't have enough potions. Well, I guess it's on them then. They want to save uh, their lives. Uh, yeah, we appear to be out. Unfortunately. Yeah, that's it. I've got, I've got well, nothing. I can't get close enough. Yeah, oh, well. that requires an action. Right, ending turn. Rip gnomes. Hey, look, large gnome. Ah, it's a very large gnome. Yeah. Yeah, but why wouldn't they? Get the demotivator themselves. Yeah, maybe they're I not suppose, motivated. Yeah. Maybe it's demotivating them. They are done. Fuck it, I'm just gonna die, whatever. Okay. I am console Chad. <laughs> yeah, I had a dead mode ah! switch. What's this, sorry? Legendary protection. When your ally is about to be hit by a foe, you can use a reaction to make it automatically miss. Use once per short rest. What I'll do you think? Fine. You'll I'll be, be fine. fine? You sure? I'll be fine, yeah. Okay, do not react. Your spear cannot harm me. Oh, there nice. You go. That could be cool. I could, like, say. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Do not react again. Yeah, your sure? Spear cannot harm me again. Ah. Ah. If, if one of you is about to die, I could save you, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Bane's command. <laughs> A sentinel proct. I'm swinging. There we go. Oh, nice. 
And shield blow. Nice. Nice. Oh. Okay, two more turns until that orb does a thing. Oh, aura of terror. Oh dear. Uh, spirit guardians on themselves. Counter spell level five, bitch. No spell for you. Nice. Nice. Okay, well, let's watch like a load of explosive colours go off. Yeah. Ow, oh, Jesus, you might. Frightened. frightened for two turns. Oh, no, it's not got oh, its turn. It's not going off uh, yet. Ah. It's right, going off the end of this turn. Yeah, do you want to quickly grab it, Dirge? Yeah, I'm just going to haste myself, grab it. Uh, this art, red wire. I should be fine. Red yeah, wire. Red wire. Have you got it? Yep. Is it done? That was close. Hey, nice. Okay, nice, you've done nice. it. Nice. Right. The other black gauntlet probably has another demotivator, so perhaps save them till last. Uh, copy A that. Fan. Okay, so Lump Beef Broth is going to use one of my superiority dive, which I have three remaining, to put a precision strike debuff on this person. Oh, no, wait. Sorry, it's on me. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm immobilized, so I have to. Oh, yeah, I can only swing at what's in front of me. So I have a 90% chance with advantage. Oh, it has to be the Black Gauntlet. Sorry, guys. That's fine. Kill the okay. Black Gauntlet. We can grab the other Veggie Motivator. So I, 90, I can get down there, yeah. 90% without my with without my great weapon, 64 with. So I'm going to go without. I'm going to uh, trip attack. I'm going to do a trip attack for 90% with disadvantage. I swing. There we go. Nice job. Didn't work, though. Then I'm going to follow that up with a my second attack. Hopefully, if I can kill him... I'll try a feigning attack on 80%. That should give me a free swing. Okay, can I touch this? You need an action. An action. Shit. I don't the think record I'm blocked. It's, so I can't get down there to touch it. At the end of the turret, so you're going to have to move out of the way so somebody can grab it. Okay. In, ah, it's trouble. I'm frightened, though. That's the trouble. Um, uh, move back, then. No, you can't move at all. Yeah, I'm stuck. Sorry. Uh, oh, there is a guy. Sorry, I didn't notice the dude right here. I swing. Sorry, I should have hit him. Okay, that's all that's I can do. Fine. So, good luck, uh, Digby. I'm sorry. I'm not signing autographs today. If you would kindly get out of my face, motherfucker! You saved it. You ah. bastard. Yeah, I did a, a whole dramatic speech yeah. and you fucking saved it. Have a, chip, have a fucking pommel strike, you bitch. Yeah, get off balance. He's, he's a Chad, that's why. Right, okay. The <laughs> Myrmidon is... I wonder if the Myrmidon can get the motivator. No, not enough movement to get to the motivator. What I might be able to do is elementally warp next to it. You need a main uh -huh. attack. Or, like, a main action. Thank you, Ark Spider and Darthied and Hill Tramp. Uh, for those passing through the stream, I hope you're okay. Please know that it's week number four on my latest YouTube project. I'm still writing a very, very, very big script for a video essay on Sons of the Forest. It's going well. I wrote a huge, really complicated segment today. So yeah, the next uh, seven segments are short. So yeah, I'm sort of moving through it as best I can. Uh, I'm going to need some help with this dude, I think. So I'm going to fly... No, I'm not. I'm going to fly to there. <laughs> Can't catch me, I'm made of air. Ending go. Right. All right okay. On you, Mr. Glennon, you've got to get right. the motivator. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the bonus act. I'm going to be honest, Mr. Sparkly Man, I have a feeling that it won't be Baldur's Gate in a YouTube form for quite some time. I've yet to finish Divinity with this nearly the same crew, so, you know, I've, uh, Agents. and I've, I've just got so... It's difficult, there's only so much I can do. I have deactivated the motivator. Well done. It is gone. That is all of my actions, however. So the archer is going to have to pull out his dagger and sword and just be in the mix. Thankfully, I've got a very, very expensive 8,000 gold piece of armor that mm. I bought when we first entered the city. That means I've got really good armor class, despite being a rogue. So I've got 22 AC. I'm going to activate Uncanny Dodge, which means that uh, when an attack hits you, I only take half the usual damage. It's a reaction. I'm going to enable that and get ready for a for a pound in, I guess. End turn. Oh, shocking grass. Yeah, That's a good yeah. spell. I like that. The cantrip, yeah, it's really good. Ooh, acid arrow. 
he's one of I think he was one of our boys, yeah. He's one of these Gondians, although not a gnome, interestingly. Yeah, they definitely are tippers as they've all got shocking brass. Yeah, so maybe it wasn't that... <laughs> so yeah, the Gondians, so it wasn't that they were necessarily in control of them, it's that they were making them. That's where that's where I've gone wrong. But the Gondian was the name I remember. Should I skip do it? Do you mind? Yeah, do not, do not react, I've got enough help. You missed, you bastard. Go on, try again. Oh no, he's got a voice of command instead. Then he's gonna try again. Don't worry about it, I'm good. No worries. You can't hit shit. Okay, yeah, it's stunned. No, she's uh, moving. Who, who's he hitting? Dirge? Dirge? Uh, Do you not react? Yeah, sure. Yeah, Hit cutting me. words. Fuck it. Cutting Your words. She'll blow. Ah. Nice job. <laughs> that noise. Ah. Uh, who's, yeah, that's you. Are you okay? Yep, fine. It's going to get a bit tedious, this ability of mine, isn't it? For fuck's sake. So. Every attack is going to proc it. I mean, does it? It's a reaction, and it has multiple uses. You can enable it to it automatically. Sure, but I've only got one per short rest. That's it. Let's put short rest. Well, there you go then. Sentinel, Ow, prompt. I'm going for it. In the, in the car. Oh, I Ow. missed. I'm getting poked for my my expensive armor isn't working. <laughs> I want my eight thousand gold back. Would you like Would you like some assistance? I think I think I'll be okay. Um, okay. You guys go first. Right, my turn. So lump beef broth. I'm going to... la de da de da There is a tiny lady in front of me. I'm going to pick her up by her ankles and fling her... Where are we going to fling her? Fling her at this dude over here. Hang on. There you go. Whoop! Oh, it didn't kill her? I thought it might kill her. It did not. Okay, never mind. Then I'm going to switch on my Great Weapon Master. I have advantage over this guy. So with Great Weapon Master, 80% chance to swing. I swing against this dude, killing him outright. <laughs> Just mounted yep. him, Jesus. Giving him, a, him. giving yeah. me a secondary attack, so I'm going to charge and hit this dude. Jesus fucking Christ! Killing that dude. one. I've then got another attack. Uh, going to hit this dude for f oh, only 55. Hang on, switching off great weapon master. Uh, going to use my hunter's mark on him, which is something on my gear apparently. Oh damn it! That was my bonus action because it was an extra attack. That was silly. Ending turn. Right. Alakazam. Alakazoo. I shall turn this orc into a petting zoo. <laughs> Damn it! I keep saying cool shit and it doesn't fucking work! Uh-huh. Oh, fuck. It's fine. It's fine. Level 3 healing word, Mr. Glennon. Have some Appreciate more it. health. Hey. Thank you. Ending turn. Does help. Right. Young young Master Dirge. Oh, shit. I forgot about me air Merlin. Um... There we go. Prompts, prompts, well done. Problem solved. Do. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm going to wander over here. Thank you, go. Java Fatal Error. Right, Thank you, Java. Just at my feet. Uh, my shelf. Here with the stick. Suppose I'll just uh, <laughs> Eldritch chair. Blast. Yeah, I'm going to defib them three times just to make sure. Bloody hell. Flick them across the room. Yeah. Yeah, they're still up, though. Um... Yeah, one more time for good luck. <laughs> Yo, what? Wow! Wow! That, that, How did you miss a prone target? Well, this guy knows some maneuvers. Uh, I, it's, uh, I it's hit a, on twos. That it's a ranged was... attack. That was three nat ones. <laughs> nice. It's luck that of a awful. different kind. Yeah. turn. Fuck that. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm gonna run forward. Now that the uh, sort of the, the melee core has been turned to uh -huh. soup around me, and they're going to produce my bill. Uh, we have advantage. I have advantage against this one because she's prone. Not that it really matters. So only a seventy-five percent chance to hit. She's weirdly tanky despite being lying on the floor. Mm. Um, I'm going to thank use you, a, bad uh, taste no, bear. Advantage against the target and thank now for some reason. Ninety-five percent chance. Tracks and all. Thank you very much. It's going to have to be a run over and hit her with my offhand dagger to finish the job. That takes a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Die, heathen! There we go. <laughs> there we go. Right, so just honestly. One with the, yeah, Digby's one. Wiggling her hips on the floor. Oh, um, can I tell you guys about what oh. happened this morning in Rimworld briefly? We've got AIDS. Go on, then. I, right. had a, I had a raid, right? Of raiders attack me? Yeah. And they all what? had, like, rocket launchers and shit. What? What? You got greased. Why? <laughs> Why? You're a bar. 
Anyway, I'm naturally greasy. <laughs> <laughs> a, 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 guy, a, a raider called Magic fired a doomsday rocket launcher, but he had a shooting skill of zero. Oh no! So he fired it literally into the back of his own guys Help! and blew up the raid. A oh, nice. Do you want me to save you? you Help! Use your legendary because yep. he's just rolled a twenty-six. I, I forced him to miss. Thank you. Ow! Oh, he's just shoving it with your ass. Yep. Oh, you Off don't want to come there. down here, mate. You really yeah. don't want to come down here, mate. Look around. <laughs> Situational awareness. Yeah. Nil. Uh, no, no, Dirge is not your turn. Hang on. Uh, how do I get close enough? So Lump B Frost is going to jump here. Fucking jump on him. You do it to your party, mates. Yeah. Then I'm going to switch on Great Weapon Master for, for a 55% chance to hit. Ah, rubbish. Switch it off. Hit with 80% chance to hit. Yeah. Oh, rubbish. One more. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> okay, ending turn. Right. Now I'm back on my feet again. Uh, let us go with... Uh, what do I want to do? What are the great many spells that I can cast on this man? You know what? Ooh, 45% chance for whole person to work. He is resistant to some shit. You know what? Let's go for the old... No, that's 45% as well. Why are you so resistant to stuff, you fucking orcish bastard? Be blind! Yeah! There you go. Fuck you! Mm. And because Cut you're it. blind, I'm now going to shoot you with an arrow! Yeah! <laughs> right, and Fair the enough. air Myrmidon is going to hit you with the shocking flail. So you're now blind and stunned. Get hard CC'd, motherfucker! Dirge, finish him off! All yours, Dirge. Die. I'll just blast. It rolled a 36. Yeah, I, there you go. That's yeah. better. You made up for last turn. Bad. You took last. Bad. Yeah, you took last turn first. There you go. <laughs> and another round. Nice. Well done. And well done. Dead. Open up. There right. Our Gondian friends. Uh... It's Fernal Mace and a letter. Kill switch yeah, protocol. Kill oh. switch protocol sounds like something we need. Well, we should but, hit that. Caution. Prinsky motivator is the supreme bayonite means of ultimate coercion, uh, but it is useful solely as a deterrent and not as a weapon. When triggered, the user has only moments to deactivate it before the prison tank charges, detonate, and the hostages are killed. Taking with it our only leverage over the Gondian artificers. Threaten, threaten convincingly, but never go to full detonation unless the entire foundry falls to our enemies. So interestingly, so curious. So, what is that suggesting? It says the prison tank charges detonate. That's what happened in the prison. So, yeah. So I guess if we'd have somehow failed here, then we also would have lost the hostages down in the, the Iron Throne the as well. Iron. Is yeah. is that not what's being threatened? The the lives of the hostages down in the in the prison. So, so the guys. So so okay. So what appears to be the case then is that the people that are being held down in the prison were not the deep gnomes from Act One, but are maybe relatives, family of the Gondian gnomes or any Gondian gnomes that they couldn't put in a collar and force to work. Mm. So the hostages are important to the Gondians. They're not necessarily the guys from Act One. Okay. Okay. So long as you hold the motivator, you are safe from the Gondians. For they know that if you are attacked, their loved ones, there we go, will die. However, to prevent accidental massacre, the motivator can be deactivated easily with the correct input. Do not worry about the Gondians. They will be too terrified to grab a dropped motivator. They are weak and cowardly, the natural prey of the worshipper of Bane. Right. Got another letter here. Um... Gasper, just a quick note to tell you, we are so proud of you, of you for finally landing a job with the future. Lord Gartash will go far, and you are right hitching yourself to his star. Pa is especially pleased to know you're carrying on the Thorax name. In fact, he's taking me out to the Elf Song right now to celebrate. Say hello to that sweet Tamaya Holtz for me, Mama. So yeah, we killed, uh, this was uh, Fist of Bane, Gasper Throaks. Um, oh, that's... And, yes, I will uh, talk his, to... His mum's happy. His mum is proud, yes. <laughs> his mum is very proud. 
Um, well, anyone want this mace on the floor? Infernal uh, mace? No. I've sent you no. a helmet, Mr. Beef Broth. It yeah? might be quite useful for you. I shall have a look. Is that why are you smirking when you're saying that? No, genuinely, I think it might be quite useful for you. Uh, hang on. The Steel Watcher helmet. Oh my god! Yes. Um, I can't be blinded. Um, advantage on constitution saving throw checks. It's nice, but... Hang on. Let's have a look at it. Hey, look at this, everyone. You do look pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, hold on. We are the fight. Are we? I don't know. Um, the... Someone's passing checks. Yeah. It's nice. Oh, I think it's me putting on the helmet. It's a blind suit. Um, no, there's but... a fucking... There's someone invisible here. Because the... The Gondorians yeah. are in a fight with something. Huh. Could there be a fight happening all over the factory? What are they doing? I don't know. They're, They're running over here. Found something that's. They aggroed on one of the automatons outside. Uh, Loading bay. Maybe one has door. a sword out. Uh oh. There's a steel watcher coming towards the door. Is he a problem? Don't yes, know. most likely. Unless it's the one on the roof. Uh, hang on. Uh, guys, I've, I, we need to get ready for a shit show. Yeah. It's the steel watcher outside. Ah, is it the one on the roof? Uh, no, it's the one out in the yard. Oh, no, out in the yeah. yard. It's Killing attacking the somebody gates. somebody outside. Uh, Q, can you unlock this door quickly before... Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> oh, yes, the there's gnomes attacking the fucking uh, steel watch foundry I'm gates. In. Uh, never mind, there's no longer gnomes attacking the outside. Oh, here comes the oh Jesus Christ! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Mother! <laughs> they move very fast for a room of that size. I need new uh, pantaloons! Oh yeah. fucking god, right, okay. Uh, uncanny dodge, fall back. Uh, it might have a cleave, just an FYI. Does um, <laughs> I've run out of that magic. Woo! Jesus, thank you. Oh, oh my god, god, it has an AoE god. strike. Yeah. Right, okay. Mark it with Hunter's Mark. Activate my bonus damage. Fire at it. 95% chance to hit. Opening turn. When first shot is in, then I'm going to use a normal ranged attack. 85% chance to hit. And then I'm going to fire one more. Another 85% chance to hit. And that's my opener. End turn. Well, well done, Q. Well done. Thank you. Okay, so this thing is weak to light lightning damage. Oh, assume... that's handy. I've got an air murmur. He does lightning damage. Excellent. Yeah, I don't have an awful lot that does that. Let's have a quick look, though. Uh, chain lightning. Probably should save that. Also, who's fucking, like, the mm. Gondian gnome that thought he was going to take on the front gate of the fucking boundary and just <laughs> got himself it? cut in half? Some G Gondian called Lower <laughs> just fucking ran up to the front gate, rattled the bars, and got cut in half. Let me in! Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to back up a wee bit from the Steel Watcher. Um, I'm not going to burn through one of my big spells. I'm just going to just blast his head a few times. Oh, I was going to say, we don't want to flick it out into the street. It might drink right. more in. Too late, now it goes. Oh, what's it doing? It's glowy, detonation glowy. Detonation impending. It's going oh to it, it blows up. It blows up. It's got a fucking dead man switch. Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus cool. Christ. Any loot on it? Right. In hell. Uh, enriched infernal iron. A dented piece of black metal. Meh. Right, yes, I'm gonna talk I need, to oh, I need that. Dana Torbin. Conversation. Did you see yep. what happened? Is, parts there, Digby? Is my little girl Is Obelia safe? Is Obelia safe? Some hostages died, but your daughter wasn't one of them. One hostage <sighs> died. Yeah. My heart. I thought her lost. I would give more than just my sight to keep her safe. Our destination is the Neurositor, the nerve center of the Steel Watch. Guide me there, and I'll do the rest. We're going to the prison, we've affected an upri uprising. Yep. We've right. uh, removed the leverage that they had over the, the Gondians. Okay. But again, we don't need the Steel Watchers eliminated, we need them on our side. We'll see. Let's do it. 
My fellow Gondians, Thank you, Hirador. flee this prison. We're bringing this place down. Thank you very much, Hirador. Okay. Okay. Um, Digby, did you grab any more parts? Um, uh, I only da I only grabbed the targeting module. W one sec before we go further, I just need to drop off the um, um, where's we got in the. Oh no, hang on. Oh, I've now got, I've now got Tubin following me. Uh, just gonna send some stuff to the camp. Armor for sale later. Um, are you sure you don't want this helmet, anyone? Which helmet? Uh, so it's a medium armor helmet. It's it's um. Advantage on constitution saving throws and artificial sight. You can see in the dark up to 12 meters and cannot be blinded. Uh, I've already got dark sight, or whatever it is. Ooh, I wonder if we can get enough parts to build a steel watcher. Maybe. Well, that's from this I'm factory. I've, I've just sent you an arm. No, I've got the targeting module. We've got an arm. There's a leg on this table here. Who knows, I, can't, leg. I can't grab the leg. Is it grab our bill or no? It is right, not. Right, so we'll, so we'll not be able to grab that. But yeah, we'll just keep an eye out for parts. Okay. Right, I'm gonna go and pull the cargo elevator lever. Bring it up from the basement. Sure. On the way. Wait, where are you? There it is, and it's the cargo. So that gate down at the end now, a lift has come up. So we can, I tell you what, we can either take the cargo elevator down or we can go down through the the, the, the plague door. Hello. Watch <laughs> a crossbow blueprint. Yeah, maybe grab everything we can to do with the watch. Like this great sword. Can anybody pick this up? <laughs> it would be nice. Hang on. Uh, I, it's way too heavy for me. Presumably it's going to say, like, only for the steel watch. Hang on. So I can't equip, but I can pick it up. Oh no, Ooh. what? Oh shit, I've aggroed the Steel Watchman outside. Oh shit. Coming, 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 coming out. Oh, oh shit, uh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, Jesus hello. Jesus. Ah. Oh, hello. <laughs> Jesus. I, did, I didn't touch it, it was Q. He, he touched coming it. Up, coming up, coming up, coming up. You're back, touch it. Hit him with the sword, look. Hit him with the sword, hit him with the sword. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Stand here. Okay, then I'm going to. Why would you stand there? Because I was going to bash him out the door. Hang on. Wait. See, look. I was too heavy to shove. Oh, 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 watch this. Watch this. You ready? Yeah, Watch yeah. this. Topple the big... I've got a special ability on my sword from the dragon. Here we go. Topple the big folk. Ah. Immune to prone. <laughs> nice that, try. That, that, that was not as climactic as I expected. Quebec is your problem. Okay. Help me. <laughs> ah. That's good. That's good. You might have it. All right. Ending I, turn. I can hear another one walking around. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Please don't come down. Right, okay. Uh, uh, Hunter's Mark, 1d6 of bonus damage. Uh, then I'm going to open with a... I uh, don't have uh, advantage on him, so... Do I have advantage on him? I do have advantage on him. I'm going to fire with an advantage shot. 23 to 50 damage. Firing. Nice. 35 plus 2. Then I'm going to follow up with a basic shot. 19, 26. Great year. And then... Uh, <laughs> 20, 34. Shit year. Um, to be... Oh. There we go. oh god, okay. no, no, what, what see, did you do that for? No, no, what the fuck? No, fuck it, end <laughs> my turn. Oh, uh, no. turn. Uh, uh, how do I, how do I end my turn? Okay, uh... Quickly end your turn as fast as possible. Uh, how? End Cancel turn end turn. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Magic missile! Yeah! Have some of that, you giant mechanical fuck. I can't hit him with a crossbow. I'm not close enough. I'm gonna shoot this anvil. Fuck you, Anvil! <laughs> End of turn! Air Myrmidon! Really? Oh. Air Myrmidon! The Air Myrmidon approaches! It's then going to... Back. The Air Myrmidon can't do anything and he's too valuable. I'm going to end his just, turn. Just let Dad do it. Right. Eldritch Blast! Yay! Oh, it still goes bang even if we kill it. That's worth remembering. Okay. Okay. Kicking the rust bucket. Hang on. So I picked up that sword. Oh, there's a lever here. I wonder what the lever does. Ah. Uh, Open the loading dock door. Oh, God. Guys, can you see this? Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my fucking <laughs> God. Hang on. Can you throw it? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, so move out the way. I'm going to throw it at that plague. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. There hang you on. go. Dirge, you're in the way. Three, two, one. Oh. oh okay. Interesting. Curious. 
That was rubbish. <laughs> that was, yeah. That was rubbish. Doesn't have any health. <laughs> uh, yeah. so, um, interestingly, yeah, you've loaded. Is there a train cart that we can push around here? Mike, come on. Uh, I, need a, I need a mine cart section. That's there is I'm... a rail cart out here. It just lowers. Yeah. It's just, um, a, I guess, a way in and out. Yeah. Ooh, What's going on? The elder brain is angry. Right. I'll wait for you guys at the service lift. Yeah, yeah. Um, I need yeah. a bit of a short rest. I'm out of superiority die. Hold on, I can play a song a short Let's rest. It's not a problem. Do it at the elevator. Thanks. How many of these parts oh, or no little later. Yep, song a short rest. Thank you. Uh, in terms of spell slots, I have four level ones, two level twos, one level five. That's it. I've used a lot of spells. I'm okay. Right. Okay. All aboard, ladies Come on, and gentlemen. Come on, Myrmidon. Right, let's uh, let's proceed. There is the lever. How do we how do we proceed? I'm just there trying. It is. Yeah, I I'm trying it. to click it. Hang on, I'm clicking it. There Pull you go. the lever. A big battle has ensued at the base of the elevator. In a fight. Massive, Ooh, massive fucking war for the foundry. Ooh. Holy shit! And all of these are going to have those fucking things on them. Those activators. Hellfire Watcher. Are we in conversation? No, no, we're in combat, my friend. Right, okay. okay. Gareth at the gate goes first. So I shall stride gainfully into the room, immediately decide that was a bad decision. <laughs> uh, Thank and... you, Crimson101, for the tier 3 for 92 months, Crimson. You're insanely kind to me, Crimson101. Thank you for it. Shorty, get <laughs> off! Yeah! Indeed, Crimson. Fucking hell. Shot the face of the small cross. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, I've ended my turn, and the air myrmidon shall then. Uh, can I teleport into the middle here? Yes, I can! Hi there! How are you doing? Elemental wind! Nice! Nothing worse! Get on your dumb devil stench! And then the myrmidon will fly uh, to try and assist some of these other workers up top here. That's an attack of opportunity. That's fine. The Myrmidon is a tough old boy. He will cope. Fly! Stop. <laughs> Ending turn. Thank you again, okay. Crimson. Um, and thank you, Lady I'm Sandwich 084. Fly and Black Eagle and Hirador. Hirador, even. Thank you, all of you. And. Are these guys. Yeah, they could still take some psychic damage. Friendlies are in the way, though, which makes everything awkward. Uh, I move back a bit. Can I call? Yeah, I'll hmm. call lightning. Uh, expending. Hmm. I think of the easiest way to deal with things here. I think Grindo Biggs is probably dead. He's in the room and surrounded by people and on yes. zero health where what <laughs> at, the at the back, the back yeah. Yeah. i think he i think he might be fucked oh yeah yeah oh shit there's a lot of people what the fuck i also think that this one might also be fucked but unless we can get over and help him somehow yeah so he's blurred um Sorry, I'm just trying to think of the most effective way of dealing with these enemies. I think I might fireball with one of the friendlies, seeing as he's got a decent amount of health. Uh, I'm just gonna hurt. Wall of fire? Wall of fire. Wall of fire. A wall of fire from here to here. Might help. Yeah. Yeah, it will. Walling of fire. Target is too far. I have to wall the fire within visible range, which is rather annoying. Um, I could hunger. I'll, I'm gonna hunger. If I'm shadowing. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm. Forgive me. I don't know my law. I guess so. They're humanoids. Kill them, no. They're capable of multiple different alignments. They're, they're not monsters or aberrations, right? 
If you kill them, then oh, you might I think they're people. Turning on us. Yeah, that's my yeah. concern. Yeah, this, yeah this, is, this is a person. The spell I've got that'll help slow down the tide. Well, I guess I'm going to be healing that fucking Gondian and hoping he doesn't die. Yeah. Oh, it's my turn. Yep. Uh, should I engage these ones in front of me or further, move further in? Uh, you might want to Hercules leap you further, your way further in. Otherwise, uh, Grindo Biggs is definitely dead. Okay, Lump Beef Broth moves here first. Then see if I can use my Misty Step to get further. Can I go in that black shit or is that going to kill me? Uh, uh, it's cool. Huh? You don't want to go in the black shit because okay. it's hard crowd control, basically. Uh, okay, so just stay over here and fight in melee then. I guess so? Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if uh, yeah. you want to. Well, I, I can't, there's nothing I can melee over there, can I? I mean, there's a group closer that's not in the black shit. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to Misty Step here? Question mark? Do I have the movement points, though? I think so. So, over here. Then I'm going to run behind them, like here. And then use my cleave attack. Does that hit the... Shouldn't hit the friends. Don't think it does. I'm going to swing a cleave attack against these three. Oh, that was rubbish. You missed the one in the middle, but hit the two furthest away. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to go with a lacerate attack against the closest one, Fist of Bane Frond, for 80%. Scratch that. Switch on Great Weapon Master on. Lacerate is 55%. Uh, yeah, I'll take it 55. Oof. Ooh. That'll do. Yeah. Thank you. Well done. Follow it up with a just a regular attack on the same target. 55%. In fact, scratch that. I'll switch it off. 80%. Ah, oh, 80% and missed. Okay, not enough resource. I'm going to do, use my action surge. Restoring my turn. I swing again for 80%. Oh, come nice. on. 80%? It was a miss? Again? There we go. That's that gives me a, a free attack. I'm then going to use a trip attack for one of my superiority die against this woman here. Oop, there we go. She's down. Okay, not enough action points. No free action points. I believe that's all I can do. So ending my turn there. Good luck. Quebec. Okay, so what do I do here? Is there any hope of saving Grinda? Probably not looking at that, and even if I do manage to kill him, I think Hadar's just going to end him, isn't it? Uh, 2 to 12 Hadar cold won't damage. Kill him outright, but at the start of, of their turn. Hit, then he's fucked. Yeah, so 2 to 12 cold damage at the start of the turn, 2 to 12 acid damage at the end of their turn, as oh, long no, as they're inside. Fucked. Yeah. Yeah. So it could take up to 24 damage, not including the damage he's going to take from the rest of them. Uh, okay. So what I think I might do is Misty Step up here. Can I Misty Step up there? That, oh, that would be that would be lovely. Misty Step up here, perhaps. Yeah, I'll do that. Misty Step up onto the high, high ground. Up over here. Then I'm in a position to sort of help out a little bit more over there. But help out how, I wonder. Uh, let's see here. I don't know why I'm. I weirdly, weirdly want to help this gnome out. Um, not very like me. I'm not used to being helpful. Uh, uh, let's see. Can you throw a big healing potion? Uh, I mean, I can. It's not going to put, like... It, my biggest healing potion is 8 to 20, which, okay, 8 health is better than not, but thinking, what else could I do? I don't have any. I could, in theory, try and drop a... I'm not going to use an invulnerability globe around a NPC. I'm not going to do that. Uh, restraining them until... I'm just reading some scrolls. Right, okay. Uh, I am just going to... Try and knock back some of the time. I could knock him out of the hunger of Hadar. Be interesting. Uh, for for uh, well, uh, words even for those unfamiliar, her name is Lulu. She is a French bulldog. She's nearly eight years old, and I lack the vocabulary to explain how much I love her. If I do that, I've got to really aim this here.
I believe. King it's Q. Pi it's picture. King Q. It's pixel King perfect. King Q. King Q. King Q. King Q. King Q. King Q. <laughs> Someone's part like yeah. in my heart. So what's he trying to do? King you missed me I'm here. Trying to, trying to, I'm trying to get the gnome out of the... Well, I think I've missed the hit that. <laughs> oh, what'd you do? You I think got, I got him out. You got, got the gnome out of the hunger of Hadar. Well there done. we go. <laughs> but what does that do, sorry? So he would have died definitely in there. Oh. Um, but now I've sort of. But now they're just going to gonna run over and kill him, aren't they? Now they're going to run over and kill him. Don't worry. Well, that's that's a that's a problem for. A, that's it's a future fine. problem. That's a future problem. Step we might be one. Able to heal him enough. It's a multi-step process. Um, I can't throw anything else at him. I basically just got a shot. I can try and hamstring one of the watchers. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll hamstring the watcher at the back. Make it, which he saved, unfortunately, and all nice I can try. do then is fire another shot at any of them. Doesn't really matter who. I think I'll try and just hit this Mr. Bane person. I'm, I'm a little bit anxious about killing the people at the back in case they have one of those, like, dead man switches, and then I've got to get down there. Yeah. Um, well, we'll see whether or not flicking him out of the Hunger of the Dark would have made any difference. I've given him a chance at life. Let's see how lucky <laughs> he is. Ending turn. Oh, he's up. Well, he did get up. Oh, lightning bolt. Oh, is that nice. a kill? Yeah, he's yeah, got a kill. Got nice. D went out with a bang. Oh, that one got a kill as well. Go on, Gondians. Yeah. Oh, oh a misty step up onto under a the, pipe. Under the pipe. Okay. Look at that. Look at him go. Yeah. Go team. Right, so now I've got control of this, like, minor NPC fella. Uh, I can... <laughs> I, li I like how he's saying fight, but they're already fighting. He's just turning up. You yeah, know, yeah, he's not contributing. So about the only thing that I can do is... So what have I got? I've got a shitty little... Ma like, I can hit him with a hammer for three damage. Uh, shocking grasp seems to be it, to be honest. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I can misty step with him kind of cool. So I'm going to move him to here, although he's a gnome, which means he really doesn't move. So I'm going to misty step him over into action. Why can't I not misty step him? I can mi Oh, because he's blind. Okay, what a useful... He's got misty step, but he can misty <laughs> step about six inches because he's got no eyes. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Well, in that case, then, uh... What? What can I do? Uh, Just hide him somewhere. Uh, fucking, I don't know. Uh, throw your hammer at someone. Yeah, I'm going to throw my hammer at him, I guess. Can I do that? No, I technically can't. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't have access to an inventory. I can throw a book. I can throw a book <laughs> at book. him. There you go. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right, end turn. There we go. Hey, shocking grasp. They're getting all thief on us. Yeah. Light. Backlash. Oh, I'm not burning my level 5 spell slot. 48 on the backlash. That is shocking. Nice. Well done. Okay. What are you doing? Come my way. Come my way. Ah, oh, Sentinel didn't prop. Leave my air moment alone, you orcish prick. <laughs> Look at this guy's picture. Which guy's picture? This guy oh, is yes. his turn now. Fucking pretty boy. Yeah. Oh, Sentinel props. Motherfucker. Ah, oh, miss. Oh, that's nice. a net one. Crit miss. Oh. Oh, shit. She's in trouble. Aura of terrors. That's a problem. I. How much health has uh, Falson got? Uh, Falson. Where is Falson? 55. Not reacting. I know Blight is a little bit of a bastard, but they've got enough HP. Yeah. Aura of Terror. 
Look at him. Disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws roll within 10 feet of the spell card. Oh. Oh no. Oh, She's down. They are scary. Oh no! Oh jeez. Oh. Oh, it, was, it was a oh, worthy effort. Yeah, nice try, Q. Alright, right. Digby, you're up. Righty-ho. I've suddenly got a lot of angry people around me. Yeah. Uh, so I think first things first. Uh, yes, you're short, and you know it! Punch oh, punch get him insulted to death, you hag! <laughs> Jesus. And then we shall... Thank you, Kirky Worky. Flourish my rapier in the face of the black gauntlet. <laughs> I miss it, fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, uh, Jerry, enjoy your meal. Jerry and Ho, enjoy your KFC. Okay, the air murmurden goes next. The steel watchers are... Uh, don't like... Uh, but, uh, don't like... Electric, yeah, that's electric right. Electric damage. So we shall use the flail. I think going to elementally walk Where are you? away... Over here? Put uh, one motherfucker in between me and that steel watcher. Uh, I also saw I'm not in the hunger of Hadar. Ending term of the moment. All right. Um, let's grab a big spell scroll because there's lots of things on the map. I forget. Uh, I forget. I have scrolls. <laughs> I need to use them. I'm saving them for absolute emergencies and random NPCs. Okay. Yeah. So I'm looking at a scroll of chain lightning. Strike an enemy with lightning. Three more bolts will leap from the tar. Thank you, um, Ali Nortep. Thank you very much, Ali. So, so I'm going to cast that uh, towards the Steel Watchers. Okay. Only 25%. That's pretty bad. Might do it to Console Martin the Hammer and just see what it bounces. Oh, it fucking Ooh. slapped. Wow. Fucking Wait, remember. That, well they're going to go boom, remember. Uh, that was pretty... pretty decent. Um, going to quick spell Flinger. I'm going to bring myself here. And then I'm going to Eldritch Blast the front watcher there. Oh, no. And then... oh, no, no it's, it's just you, enemies. You've doomed us, sir. It's just enemies. Just enemies, apart from the, the Mimrodon. Yep. And then and turn. Okay, okay my, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, can I jump and not take an attack of opportunity? No, I'm just gonna have to eat it. Push, push, push. Uh, no, she's already in the blast radius. So I don't want to fuck with it. Run away! Okay. Run away! So lump beef broth is going to move back here. I'll take the hit. Ouch. Then will one extra shot do it? Do you reckon? Yeah, one extra yes. shot will set that watch drop. Gonna fire my oh, only 30% chance to hit. Um, throw something. Yeah, anyone got something to throw? Oh, what's this? Alchemist fire. Yeah, I'll that'll do it. do it. Catch! Oh no, I need a I need a pun, guys. Um. Uh, fuck. Uh. Get shit on. No, uh, something fire related. Some kindling um, for your fire. Hey, hot stuff. I hey, hot stuff. Hey, hot yeah. stuff. Pretty good. I like hey, hot stuff. Uh. uh Chat, give me something. I need something better. I'm on fire! Throw it and yell, I'm on fire! This, this bottle is almost as red as my head. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! Um, oh, fuck. Hot, hot, potato, hot potato is rubbish. Hot jambalaya! Fire in your hole, I guess. Fire in your <laughs> hole. Oh, immune to, burn. to burning. <laughs> After all that. <laughs> fuck it, just fire an arrow. 55% chance to hit. Ah, fire another one. You know what, Q, you're going to have to show me how it's done. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to jump over this table in a heroic fashion. Imagine yeah. like a forward gamble. Yeah, 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 yeah. Finish. Here we go. <laughs> well done. Ooh. And then I uh, reach into my uh, backpack. I grab an arrow of lightning. I then fire it. Uh, in such a way, can I hit all of those guys? No, better still. I'm gonna because they're not close enough together to really make advantage of that. I'm gonna reach into my bag of many arrows and produce an arrow of many targets, and then going to fire at the black gauntlet guy if I can. No, he is totally hiding behind that fella. In which case, I'm just gonna fire at the rearmost watcher and hope that it bounces forward and hits the other two. Firing at the rear watcher with advantage. Whoop. There we go. Hey! 
Oh. Kaboom. Nice. Motivator sequence activated. Shit. Uh. 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 We're not going to get to that. Uh, can I get uh. to that? Well, you I don't have an action. It's uh, inside the hunger of Hadar as well. You need so. an action. I need an action. Shit, fuck. Uh, hang on, I might be able to just shoot it. I've still got my spare attack. I can hit it for 100%. Uh, I, I can jump okay. with my bonus action, but... Then I can't do anything. Not enough action points. Uh. Okay, uh ending turn. Uh. Surely we uh, get time. We get time. Great. End turn. So I can't. I can barely misty step. Damn it! Can we can we like give this guy his eyes back? <laughs> um, I've got a spare eye. Talk to Volo. Yeah, yeah can you can you just like like the guy from the Pirates of the Caribbean? Can you just pop it out. Yeah. Um. Shit. Are they, are they all dead? Are they just dead? I think they might just be dead. All right. Um. Shocking grasp, I guess. Yeah. There's not really much else I can do. I'm trying to get the distance, but I just can't. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying surely, to think of any. Surely wouldn't proc on one turn. Maybe. Huh? Maybe we it's just maybe we just have to manage it. Although it does say never let it go to full detonation, so maybe there is a wind up. It said in the letter. We'll give it a try. Uh, gonna go for a shocking grasp, sixty percent. Unfortunately, that misses. Bonus action wise. Not much else I can do. Dip the weapon in her butt cheeks. I don't know. Uh, shove. 10%. Stranger things have happened. No. Right. In which case, I'm just going to have to sit tight. 62%. Bend the knee, or I will break it. Calm down, Danny. Oh. Wait, was that me? Did he hit me with fire? Yeah, or something like that. I don't know. We lost another gnome. Damn. Guardian spirits. No spirit guardians for you. Counter spell. Yeah, psych back life. Nice. Nice. Yeah, the pair of them are activating. There's now two. Imminent. There we go. Okay. I can hit this one next to me. Leave this to me. There's two. Uh, where? Next to me? Yeah, there's one at uh, top of the staircase now. Okay, right. uh, Digby, you're first. I might be able to get to the one top of the staircase. I'm going to take an attack of opportunity. I'm going to risk it. <gasps> Ow! Oh, where are you? Right, let's get up the stairs. Let's interact with this motivator. Uh, it's a DC 5. I've got plus 3. Uh, it's a 13. We're good. Nice. Okay. Right, motivated disarmed, and now I'm at the top of the stairs. I'm gonna shoot you with my little crossbow. Yeah, have some of that. Nice. Ending turn. Now the air myrmidon shall uh, use his Double elemental warp. Go to here, and we shall support the blind man. Yeah, oh, nice. Five flail. Uh, that, the Black Gauntlet down here has 9 HP. We'll probably drop one of those motivator things. So I shall leave my Myrmidon here to threaten them and I will go down there next turn. Ending go. Derg, you are up. Uh, lump, you're okay to grab yep, that. Leave just it with now. me. No, just now, just in case something goes wrong. Okay, touching it now. Uh, oh, God, he's, oh, he's, he's an, an idiot. It's an intelligence roll. He's an idiot. Yeah. It'll be fine. I only require yeah. five. What could possibly go wrong? Don't fuck it up. Otherwise, you're going to literally no, we're fine. Off, but no. Okay, cool. Right. Okay. Uh, right. One Eldritch Blast on the one in front of me. Uh, in fact, I have to move around to the side because I'm blocked. There we go. Just be careful about killing right. all the Black Gauntlets at once one because they're all going to drop motivators. 
We only we'll drop one. That's fine. We can get it next turn. Right. I might be able to get it with the. Do we, do we trust that the NPC Zama Tuvlin will be able to do it, or uh, should I jump down and try and do it? I think it might be wise if you jump down and do it. Uh. Because Zama, don't forget, is blind. When we can try with Zana. <laughs> Yeah, we'll try it with Zana. I mean, and like, it has like that, like arming time, doesn't it? Actually, of one yeah. turn. So yeah. if, if we get in trouble, we should be all right. So I scurry across the top of the balcony here, and then use my high ground position. I pretty much have to shoot it right through the middle of that chain hook. Uh, so I'm going to get and shoot her in the back of the head. Ninety-five percent chance to hit. I keep misreading the name of that NPC as Basil Puldarius. Where? Nice. Which one? Like, Bane Polandalus down there. I keep re misreading it. <laughs> Basil Poldaris, who was the composer oh. for Starship Troopers. It's a miss from me. I'm going to end turn. Hopefully they'll, like, fucking... There you go. Is he wearing eyeliner? Who's wearing eyeliner? No, just very dark eyes. Right. Grab the motivator. He cannot touch the mo... Well, he's... He so, it took the action, but it didn't give me the prompt. Oh. Which is kind. So, um... I guess arg, and then <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you, uh, Ale Dale Shadow. Thank you, yes. Dale. Thank you. Help me, much taller Gondian. There you go. Kill the pretty boy. Oh, oh no. Nothing works. Nice job. Right. Right. I'm going. I'm going for the thing. I'm going Nathan. for the motivator. Well done. Right. Got it. Nice. Yeah. Nice job. It. I missed. Ending go. Myrmidon, finish him off. Get him. Well yeah. done. Good job. Well done, everyone. Well fucking done. Good job. Hey. Adding to where's to sell and split with you later. Where are we? Parchment. Vessel identified. I am pleased to report that we have sourced a vessel and a pilot to transport the hostages to the Iron Throne. Red Hammer is a godless fool, but I love, but the love of his gold outweighs any moral qualms he may have. He will do for now. So that submarine pilot was paid off by the Bainites, but. We managed to trick him into helping us. Sort of threatened. Yeah. Oh no, wait, no, you're right, we did trick him. Hang on. Oh! Oh! What? Door, control center, antechamber. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay, hang on. Uh, yeah, they've all got the fuck all on them in the grand scheme of things. Eh, all can be sold and. Oh shit, headless coin. corpses. Desiccated. I wonder if this is where they pulled their eyes out. Mind flare specimen. Really? Go. A mind yep. flare? What, a full on mind flare? No, the... mind flare um, tadpole. Oh, okay. One of them's carrying a Baynite request for brain removal. Guards' written orders to protect Gortash's submersible vehicle at any cost. So it is Gortash's submarine piloted by that. Uh, piloted by that. Um, that dwarf. Hmm. Oh, big hammer. The hammer. You got Bane's book of admonitions over here. A book of adages and precepts for Bane knights, providing the basic tenets of worship of the Lord of Tyranny, with suggested prayers for common situations. The heart of the book is Bane's twelve admonitions, a dozen rules for proper Bane knight conduct, with punishment specified for failure to comply. The book opens easily to a page with two of Bane's most popular admonitions. Six, the reprimand for leniency, and number seven, the rebuke for false compassion. So, uh, thanks for that tadpole. My uh, brain is now more grey than ever. <laughs> Can we see a picture of it? Yeah, sure, hold on. Hang on. Yeah. This is like, nice. There are three bigsies here. Like, there's uh, a whole family. Uh, do you want to speak with dead, some of these bigsies? Yeah, good shout. Oh my god. What? Black Gauntlet Reeves. When the Steel Watcher quota for the next 10 days is delivered, we will consider Watcher Phase 1 complete. Oh, winding oh, down yeah. operations yep. in the foundry. 
who will have enough automatons for our immediate purposes, and besides, we have an unexpected tadpole shortage that limits production. Interact Ooh, with the corpse. hold on. We okay. will have enough automatons for our intermediate purposes, and besides, we have an unexpected tadpole shortage that limits production. Well, of course, we, we blew up um, the tower. No, what I mean the is the steel watchers the might have some organic components. Steel watch. huh. Oh, hang on. Were you right? Listen. With the brain removed. Is this oh, no. The steel yeah. Watch? Oh, no. Oh. Are they all people who have had their brains cut out and put into That's the robot? They're, they're Cybermen. Brains. They're so it's like it's Cybermen. Yeah, inserted into sentient armor. So who's this dude? That just. I wonder if they're just people. That, that just have their brains tampoled, removed, and then just shoved in a suit of armor. Yeah. Shit. That, sucks. that is disgusting. I found it. Uh, this zombie on the floor here was alive. I, I slit its throat just so it just would die. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Fuck. And there's a brain in a jar over here. These guys I guess, are bastards. Holy I shit. Guess, I guess dissenters. Yeah, or anyone. You know, you can't if you won't serve willingly, then you'll then you'll serve. Hmm. Yeah, your head will be removed and you'll be put in something Inspection far stronger than just anything. Fresh Orders for the to, to, sorry, did you read the Black, Black Gauntlet letter? Uh, uh, yeah. was it? Yes, that was where it basically hello. said about the... Hello, darling. Uh, <laughs> the tadpole hey, uh, shortage limiting <gasps> the production of steel watches. I thought... Sorry, um, maybe, I thought that the steel watch couldn't have tadpoles in them because they don't want them to be under the command of the Absolute. Maybe, maybe they need them. Maybe that. Maybe the the elder brain is one of the things that's helping them control them. Uh, yeah, I mean, it does say here we will have enough automatons for our immediate purposes. And besides, we have an unexpected tadpole shortage that limits the production. Hmm, okay. Right. There's yeah, a they, note they were, attached here that says. Yeah, they weren't tadpoling the craftsman, but that was that's what you're thinking of. So yeah. Okay. There's a, there's a note on the door to the uh, to the control room. It says, "Do not, I repeat, do not open this door without my key. This entire operation relies on you following this simple rule. I will personally cleave the head from any neck of the idiot who does otherwise." Black Gauntlet Harms Reeves. Gonna open it. Yep. I believe we have the key. Yep. Oh, we're going through. All right, we're going in to the control center. Okay. Already in use. There we go. Oh, brain jars. The brains. The watcher this brain controls is offline for maintenance. Oh shit. Brain dreams. Images of life in a garden cottage in spring. Oh, the spirit target sighted, pursuing on foot. Tar target sighted, pursuing on foot. This one just said. Oh. Yeah. Oh, How Gortash dialogue. The. Gondonian Autoguard project to create his steel watchers is remarkable and horrible, and somebody ought to tell it. Might as well be me. The original design for the Autoguards outwardly resembles the eventual watchers, but an Autoguard is designed to be piloted by a small individual in a cockpit in the torso. When Gortash threw some scheme involving fraud and blackmail to go for the dog foundry, he scrapped those plans and announced that the Steel Watch would be entirely remote controlled from a central hub. We had no idea that this remote control would involve both Merkelite necromancy and illithid psionics. As worked out under duress by Zanner Tubin, fitting out a Steel Watcher requires the following steps. A zombie is decapitated and the brain is removed. The brain is tadpoled and put in a brain jar where it becomes part of the absolute hive mind. The tadpole brain retains a psionic connection to its undead body. The undead headless body is wired to the torso of a steel watcher. The absolute elder brain sends psionic orders to the brain. The jarred brain passes the order to its connected steel watcher. All of this telepathic traffic is coordinated through the neuro sitar in the control center, but I hope to do something about that. Fuck. Holy shit, that's even more horrific than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. What's, yeah the sh what's, so, what's, what's the short version? Basically, they take your brain, stick it in a jar, use your dead body as like a, 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 a Wi-Fi hub to control the steel watch. And then the brain controls the body, which controls the steel watch, and the brain is controlled by um, psionic and traffic that goes through this control hub. 
and and worse the worst part is is, is the fact that, that it goes through the elder brain so if the elder if it's not just well we look yeah these things go through the elder brain the absolute has some control yeah right. which, yeah which the, means that if the elder brain slips they won't be available for the final battle no because they are under the control the only reason that they're currently working for Gortash is Gortash has a nether stone that controls the elder we brain oh, hello. even though we've Anything got the other two I'm, I'm in chat quadrupex. no he yeah, can't. sorry, the, the, we've, uh, we're, I've interacted with a brain and the, the elithid psionics that we're capable of because of the tadpole. I've tapped into this steel mm. watcher. Oh, really? Oh, oh, we're in I conversation can't... with the dwarf. Yeah, we're in conversation with the dwarf. I, can't... I wanted Thank to see you, where going, but we're talking to someone else. Okay, I can I can wait on my dialogue option. Yeah, yeah, we'll, but... yeah we'll, we'll come to you in a minute. Hold there. Just uh, let us know what the synopsis uh, yeah, is. You go first, Urge. Yeah, he's, he's listed out a bunch of technical terms and says, no, it can't be. Uh, so my response is, what's wrong? I hear it through the floor. Powerful, oh, indestructible. Shit. The ultimate watcher. The Titan. It shames me to admit this, but you must face this beast of Gondian folly alone. I would be crushed in an instant. Uh, the, oh, it the raises its shields. Strike right. it with every scrap of magic and might you possess, and pray to God that it does not fire upon you. Good luck. My yeah, they, they decided that they weren't big enough and decided to fucking need super need size rest. one. Yes. I think we need a long rest. I think we need a long rest right. before we go into this fight, gentlemen. Okay. So my my dialogue, you might get it. Get rid of metal. You are a steel watcher, charging through the streets in pursuit of a young girl. She is screaming. Shit. Yeah. So I have I have four options. I can I can try and use my sort of a lithid potential to try and either disrupt the parasite's connection and stop it, or try to trip the steel watcher. I think yeah. Oh, the... actually, that top one might be better. Yeah. Because. We don't want to try and... Yeah, we don't want to berserk zombie steel watcher in the middle of the city. Yeah. yeah. Let's try and trip it. Tw oh. It's a 25 difficulty class. Oh, hold on, I'm going to give you a bard again for that, because you need it. I'm going to try, guys. It might not be enough. I've done a 12, unless we come in clutch here. 2, 10, oh! 20. Oh, well bard done. Carries you through. Well done. Really well done. For a split second, you rest control. For a split second, you rest the control of the steel watcher's let and the legs lock on the steel watcher. It crashes to the ground. To the, ground. The, little disappears the little girl down disappears alley. down an alley. Safe, Safe for, for now. now. Nice. What about the other steel watchers? Brain. To the, can you talk to the other brain? Yeah. Your mind whirls as the brain swimming with parasitic juices. With a jerk, your mind is transported. You look down. Your body of pure steel and power whirring. A dwarf cowers before you. Please, Mr. Steel Watcher, sir. I'll, I'll never steal again. I swear it on my mum's life. Just let me go. Force him to release the dwarf. I think again it's a rest. Oh. Oh. Sorry, back. I'm going to try like, the illithid option. Yeah. I just, I'm gonna give it a go. But a much easier check yeah. because of my yeah, lithid connection. Yeah, you can't use your lithid connection after this. Like, you require a long rest to get it back. You take control, but it is a struggle. Your body freezes as the parasite fights back. So, so, I, I can go. Oh! Thank you, Mr. Steel Watcher, thank you! You are kicked from the Watcher as the Dwarf flees, unaware of how close he came to death. Just... and I guess this last one. The brain oh. in this jar oh. is controlled. Are we being too light on crime? Sentry duty at Worms Rock. <laughs> it patrols back and forth, vigilant for trouble. Remember, killing someone. The we learned the lesson in the in the worms' lair. Remember, killing right. killing someone for theft isn't just. Oh, I'm in the chat. Oh. Images of light and dark eagerly responds to the parasite in the brain jar. You blink to find yourself standing at Worms Crossing. You are a steel watcher, a guardian of Baldur's Gate. Before you stands a group of humans. 
He said he was Flaming Fist. That we had to empty our pockets if we wanted to enter the city. We didn't know it was a scam. We have nothing left, and my kids are half starved. Please, let us into the city. We have nowhere else to go. Might be wise to let them in before what happens is about to happen. Yeah. Yeah, I'll use my life power as well. Your watch might not let them. Uh, sorry, the, the, the flaming the fish might not. Mm. And protest, but you force your body to one side, gesturing for the family to enter the city. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> oh, come on, kids. Grab your bags. Hurry. You are kicked from the watcher's brain. The family runs into Baldur's Gate, unnoticed by the parasite. Oh, dude, this is so fucking dark. It's actually horrible. It's, it's, it's actually really horrible. horrifying. Right. Um, long so, rest before we fight this thing. Yeah, so, long rest. So we need to get back out then. We need to leave yeah. here. Oh, yeah. God. So, so not, not wishing to be that guy, but why did Gortash modify the plan then? Is it just like, I'm being evil? Surely a bunch um, of loyal steel watchers he, would be more useful. He, well... It would be for a small pilot, so you would have to utilize the gnomes. But, but like, my point is, surely, as I'm, I'm, I think I'm just being a contrarian now, but like, surely he doesn't have to do the necromancy thing, does he? What necromancy thing? Well, as in ripping their brains out and putting a tadpole in there. Well, so I guess that's just like, I, I don't know. Gotta have like, a hobby, I guess. Well, I mean, like, I, I suppose he could put the whole person in the suit. I guess maybe it's just easier to put the brain in on its own. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, just cheaper to put the brain well, they, in. Well, that that's well, they don't put the brain in. They put the body in and use the brain as like a remote control. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, where I are we going? Really, sorry? just for uh, outside to try and leave the oh, foundry, do a long rest. In. Okay. Basically, come out. If you go outside to the docks where the steel watcher blew through the door and scared you half to death. <laughs> Get on the lift, Dutch, if you're not already. Oh, I'm up He's already right. outside. How did you do that? There's there a, a door, door down here. Fair enough. Right, to the exterior. Can't, we've got to go outside the building. Yep. Okay. Uh, so appa apparently someone said in my chat, Nelly, and I don't mind divulging it, that if we pay for 200 gold, uh -huh. if we pay like 200 gold to the innkeep of the Elf Song Tavern, then it becomes our base camp for the rest of Act 3. Oh, really? Yeah, so huh. we could, we could, oh, we could, I... should, we, should we quickly go do that? Yeah, 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 yeah fuck it. Let's go and, let's go and pay the, uh, pay the keeper of the tavern. Uh, we can stay in the tavern. Elf Song, so Bold Basilisk Gate would be the best way. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been complaining about that. Like, why are we camping outside? But yeah, apparently, I don't know how exactly, but someone someone said that, uh, yeah, you, apparently you, you can pay for a pay. room. I'll pay. I've got five grand. Right? I mean, I've mind. got seven, so I'll okay, pay. Okay, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, to. i got more money. So, yeah, if you want to go and also, find us a room. I'm a, I'm a fucking celebrity here, mate. Let me work my contacts. Oh, really, Sultan? See if okay. I can have a look. Well, I'm a celebrity in other circles, all right? <laughs> in criminal in circles. In circles, that's fine. Yeah. I'm infamous. You're infamous? Yeah, you fucking caused all this shit. Yeah. Right, the innkeeper. Or something like that. Alan Alith. Right, Alan, give me a room. Is this going well? Where's the circus? Shit, sorry. Ignore that prompt. With all this talk of war, what else are folk to do but drink? Uh, I'm I reckon the murder would add something to. I tell you what, the murder upstairs has brought some punters, but it's also really spooked folk out of renting rooms. If we get you staying up there, perhaps folk will calm down and realise there's nothing to worry about. You can have the whole upstairs floor until this killer thing blows over. Really, for only two hundred gold? That's, I guess, a lot of money. Perhaps I could, get, I could get a discount on the accommodation? Let's haggle. Let's really? Let's revisit the lost art of haggling. <laughs> Charity in Baldur's Gate. Good one. But I'm, I'm Gareth of the Gate. I'm Gareth of the Gate, man. Cut no one knows who you are. I've of this place for miles around. There we go. Go on. Go on, Gareth. Yeah. <laughs> and we're friends, aren't we? So I'll have advantage <laughs> on this. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Fuck! <laughs> Is it enough with the guidance? Yeah. Well, who knows? No! Nope. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but do oh. not worry, I am inspired. Oh, oh God. You're funny. <laughs> maybe, maybe the the guidance will come in better. There we go. There we go. There we we go. made it. More asses and chairs means more coin in my pouch. You got yourself a deal. Top floor's all yours. If it gets a bit too noisy at night, well, don't sleep above a pub. <laughs> Good advice. Yeah. But I wonder yeah. if we go no. to camp. We got that for free, by uh, the way. <laughs> Can I? Uh, are you guys giving no. a prompt? Uh, there we go. If you travel to camp, but now we've now got okay. the top floor of the elf song. So look. This is a bit a bit nicer of an accommodation. Oh, that's oh, much that, nicer. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh damn it, Mazora's here. Purchase camp supplies are resting. Simply visit the dumb way hatch. We can just buy supplies now. Oh look at this. Nice. Okay. We've got Mizora actual is... beds and everything. That Mazora still has absolutely no charisma. Yeah, yeah. She never did, <laughs> so don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> I think I can drain her intelligence. Hold on. There's a sc random scroll of cloud killing, just a random chest up here. Thank you. Why oh, they were standing in a line like the fucking. Like it's a roll call, like in a, in a barracks. Look. Maybe it is. There's a random door here to an area that I don't know whether it was supposed to have access or. Where's my chest? Doesn't look like it. It's in, in the, the middle. middle. In the middle? the fireplace. Somebody want to light oh, up the yeah. fire. Uh, end of day is oh. clicking on that big fireplace. Oh, is end it? What? Fantastic. Oh, really? Why did we not come here to start with? This is fucking great. We didn't, we didn't know it existed. Yeah, I've, yeah. Got, like, I've, I've got a million yeah. horsefly bites. Hang on. Hold on. Let me, let, me get a bit, let me get a bit more comfortable. Yeah. There we go. Right. Who have we got? Who's, who's, hang on. End of day? Not, not yet, not yet. Hang on. Who's this guy? Oh, it's Raphael. What the fuck? fuck? Oh, the... Raphael joined us. What do you mean, Raphael joined look, us? Look at the floor well, behind you. Yeah, I mean, I can see that. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> they fix his model? Because wasn't he, like, weirdly broken or something? No, that no, is no. terrifying. Why don't you just go and put that in front of Mizora and then just <laughs> yes. mad-dog her from across the room? <laughs> <laughs> Who else have I got in here? Uh, got this giant eagle. Yeah, oh, they fixed the T-posing. They fixed the T-posing eagle. Nice. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what? They probably fixed the T-posing because of you. Me? Because of you <laughs> putting it in chests. And they were like, oh, shit, we better write that down. <laughs> no no one ever thought to put the eagle in their camp chest and carry it around with them before. Well, how could they not? It's obvious, surely. That's what it's for. Hang on, who else is in here? Um... Oh, look who it is. Everyone remember this lady? Isabel. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, do you remember this lady? Tragically at the end. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Well, hang on a minute. How do you have her body? Huh? We, we went there after the fight. Yeah, after we killed her. Do you remember? What? No, we didn't kill her. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember did, did, Were uh, we involved with her murder? Uh, there's a cave flower man thing. Oh, Moving well, yeah, yes, yes. Good, good change of subject there. <laughs> Yeah, hang on. You've got so much weird I stuff. Got, got got it. Every act of this game in summary. You need I, to make I, a timeline. Hold on. Yeah. Leave Isabel on the floor huh? yeah. for the moment. There you go. Uh, nah. Don't don't explode her because she's she's uh, funny. Target must be a playable character. Fuck. I was gonna resurrect her. But I can't. Oh well. Go. Yeah, back, have a back in the box. Have a mimic. Oh, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> this is gross. Uh I put him back in the box. Yeah. You need right. to at the, before this game's over. You need to make a giant pile. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just of all the people. Oh, it's because I'm sitting there. Oh look! Hang on, before I close the box, it's Crack Dobby. Yeah. yeah. He seems taller. He does seem taller now. He's Is that what he's like box. when he's like stretched out? Is yeah, when he's not got like a bad a snake. back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They have trouble measuring right. him because like it's a little stretchy. Hang on. Nice. Uh, ready? Sorry. Ready, ready. Of day. Right, there we go. Technically oh. night time now. Any conversations? No. We sit on the chairs. Ooh, hello. Will shut up. Yes, good. Quebec, you can sit on my lap if you want. I'll read your story. <laughs> uh, hang on. Oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> Guys, this is a bit crowded. Yeah, this is a bit this is a bit much. Yeah. 
Oh wow, I failed my performance check. I must have rolled on that one. Right. Right, shall we go to bed? Yeah. I enjoy the atmosphere. Yeah. Which song is that? Bard Dance? Bard Dance. Yeah. yeah. There's Bard Dance. There it is. Got her out. Wait, the Duke hasn't healed yet? Maybe not. Oh no, the Duke has not healed yet because we've not had a long rest. He's not had a chance to sleep off his multiple stab wounds. Yeah. So wait, which which party members do we not have anymore? So Shadowheart's dead. Shadowheart we're... fucked off. Yeah, she, she left. She's her. now a mind flayer, I assume. Um, Halcyn's stayed behind That's in the, the Shadowlands one. to try and cure it. Uh, Min, Tha Min, Min something. What's her name yeah. again? Uh, uh, we... Spy Spider. We killed Minthara. She's in the box. Yeah. That's it? Only three? You might be actually we might be able to resurrect Minthara. Because she's a tried? character. Did we did we try? Should, should we try again? Yeah, fuck it. Get get her out of your box and I'll resurrect her Hang on. after all this time. Yeah, she's like, where the fuck am I? Um, where is she? Particularly considering you're you're wearing her clothes. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be really awkward. Yeah, she's not getting those back. The mic I think I've I've worn them longer than my clothes now. Uh, Minthara, what does she look like? A drow, wasn't she? A drow? Yeah. Imagine, uh... imagine being in the afterlife for many, many weeks, and then the, <laughs> you, you, you're wrenched back from yeah. the ethereal <laughs> plane to uh, bo fucking Bon Jovi, He-Man, you know, like, standing her? over your corpse. Who's this? Is that her? No, that's uh, the guy no, from... Uh... That's a, a, just a random pale corpse that you've picked up. Well, he can be our Minthara, can't he? No. <laughs> Because I can't Dude. resurrect him because I have to resurrect a playable character. Uh. And he ain't one. Um, Chat's laughing Back at me. Back in the box. Am I... Yeah, sorry. Am I completely blind? Oh, it's kind of like... Uh, she's got white... Let me look at your stream. Yeah, white uh, hair, okay. drow. drow. Second row. Second row. Right. Lady Essa? What's the laugh? No, that's not her. Uh... Maybe... Did I accidentally drop her? Because we did have her. We can't have done. We must have dropped her somewhere. Go into your corp they go into your corpse box and never come out again. <laughs> but, mate, oh, no, no. I've said that. That's horrific. Did you did you explode her into into parts, maybe, for your zombie? Oh, shit. You yeah, must have done. Oh, I, might have have done. Yeah. I, gave, I gave you a few zombies to, to have to eat or do whatever. Yeah, you might have done that. So but, she's been exploded. All right, well, she's definitely fucking gone. Oh, well. <laughs> Next Moving morning. on. And right. on that... On that delightful note, it's bedtime. Yeah. Let's see if we get some proper beds. Yeah. Yes. Look at that. I'm not I'm sleeping the wrong way. Yeah, what's going yeah. on? I'm yeah. upside down. <laughs> We've never seen luxury Cyberpunk before. Cyberpunk again. Yeah. Right. Who wants to go and fight a giant steel watch or Tomatom? Yeah, That's me. Yeah, let's go and fight a giant fucking robot. Fuck it. I wish I still, still had that glaive that did bonuses against automatons. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. Right, am I overburdened? Did someone send me a load of shit or did I just pick it up? I think I picked it up. Uh, send to camp. I'm not even selling stuff anymore. I've got nothing to buy. I'll send it to me. I'll sell it when, like, next time I do the big thing. Split yeah, the gold. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, I'm still carrying around the severed head of a clown, by the way. Do we need to resolve that quest? Because it's beginning to goop up my fucking <laughs> bag. Well, speaking of... I was going to say, speaking of gooping up, I trod on a slug today. That was... Did you? <laughs> yeah. It's just, just fucking... It's not pleasant. Uh, right. Snails that I don't like stepping on, just the crunch. Crack, yeah. You're aware you killed the snail. Yeah. Feel it underfoot. Right. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> moving on. Uh, let's um, uh, fast travel back to. Can I go what? to Rivington solo? Is that not a thing? No, we have to travel oh, there. So the Grey Harbour docks, and we can go to Rivington. Unless you want to go there right now, we've got a brief intermission. Nah, it's fine. The, the chat. The, the chat said there'd be something funny there, there for me. Apparently. Right. Oh, hang on. Where's the Grey Harbour? Uh, the Grey Harbour so docks. Found it, found it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, who's that brave, that brave gnome that tries to storm the fucking gates? Yeah, just just pulp. It was really fun. It was really cool when it like cut cut the door down the middle to come and get to me and you. That was great. <laughs> and we're like, holy shit! Yeah. 
Let's all rise, motherfucker, said the chat. Uh, the lift is broken. It is broken? Oh, yeah, no. yeah like... let's take, take the door in the other room. Right. Is that what? The the, pl the plague door? <laughs> there. Yeah, that's yes, the plague, the plague uh... door. So I, I mentioned in the Steam message before we started, but I was like, today I'm going to get some potatoes and slice them up and mix them with paprika. Then I'm going to put them in some olive oil and air fry them. I've got, I've got to get a piece of fish, preheat the oven. But after all of that planning, I just went, fuck it, I'm just getting a pizza. Yeah. Could be bothered. Was it, was it a good pizza? Uh, yeah. What was on your pizza? It was a meat feast. So unidentified dead animal. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's a better pizza places, man. Well, you know, there's like weird circles of meat. You don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Uh... Yes, we started a conversation. It's fine. Mm. I was just checking. Our brain jar is waiting for you. Right. Yeah, probably the horse. Control hub. Oh my god, that looks fucking terrifying. Okay. Yep. It's like alien. Yeah, it's like. Do you know what it looks like? It, it looks like a sort of. Looks like a giant sea mine, almost. I don't know where I've seen something like that before. Well, there's two barrels. It's like a fusion reactor. Yeah. No, it's further in. Oh god, that looks looking horrific. At? Oh, oh that thing. Oh god. The room. Yeah. What is that? I guess that's the brain. And then there's the Hellfire Watcher that's standing in front of it, guarding the console. Oh, time to skulk about. That's is uh, that the Titan? There, are, there is there is a there are Hellfire Watchers uh, on the left on the. Basically, all over the place. Okay, maybe save your good a bit. Oh, oh shit! There oh, there it is! Oh, there it is! <laughs> oh, they've got the crossbows. They've got the crossbows they were talking about. Okay. That is awful. Steel Watcher Titan, Gortash's magnum opus. <laughs> Has a mutable existence. Spells that alter someone's form have no effect on the affected entity, uh, and it cannot be removed from this plane of existence. It has multi-attack, prone, restrain, or maimed. This steel watcher can multi-attack any prone, maimed, or restrained creature. It has perfect sentry, so it cannot be surprised. Opportunity attack. Advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects, and dark vision. Look, look at the design. It. Look it's at the design of it. Cool, yeah. Very, very cool. Right. Well, I okay. guess I'm going to get to work. So, let's open up with, as ever, a hunter's mark on this target. Uh, is there anything else that I can do that's like weird and funky? No, not really. Right. Okay. Uh, let's go for a hunter's mark on bonus D6. And then going to reach into my pack and grab an arrow of uh, lightning for 11 to 24 damage. I'm going to shoot that at this handsome chap here. I am. I am. Uh, I was doing that, Rox. I can't pick it up. It's too heavy. <laughs> oh, dear. That's a bad open. It's a bad I open. I him a spherical git. <laughs> nice. Uh, going to do a sneak attack, therefore, then. Uh, I'm going to use a critical hit. That, Ooh, nice. that was a big hit. That was half. Nice. Well that was half. Jesus Christ. Um uh yep. that that thing is so thick, its butt cheeks have pauldrons. Yeah. <laughs> it, it does. <laughs> oh shit, nice. yeah, they do. Right. right. You've heard of the clap of clap of that <laughs> ass? Uh, yeah. Have you ever been clapped by an ass? They, we're about yeah. to be. Right, okay. Uh, uh, can't do any more shooting, can't do any more of that. I'm out of turns. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yep, I, I'm at its mercy. I think I'm going to try and pull off, let the melee core, you guys, get in with it. I'm going to try and slink over to the corner <laughs> of the room. Yeah, he runs away. Yeah, you melee guys, yeah, just get you in guys, there. Yeah, it's melee your one now. Yeah. Just, just get in there, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> okay, the Steel Watcher cannot be charmed. I was going to Otto's Irresistible Dance it because I wanted to see if they programmed in a dance. <laughs> But they haven't. So now it's time for the Air Myrmidon to earn his pay. You go on out here, airy boy. Come yeah, on, airy knee. Do you do what you do best. He acts after it. Fuck, he's gonna get crushed. Um, and then I'm gonna shoot it with my little crossbow. Yeah, take three damage, you big fuck. I've done less than one percent of your health fall. Come at me, bro. 
Right, I'll <laughs> end my turn. The Air Myrmidon, uh, questioning its life choices. It can't go yet because it's later down the turn order. So it's your go, Mr. Beef Prop. Get the Air Myrmidon. Okay. Send me back. Send me back. <laughs> <laughs> Lump Beef Prop is going to run forward These like so. I've seen everything. And then I'm going to activate my giant form for one action point, making me grow real big. Then no, I'm still at half its size. Yeah. Then I'm going to use my bonus attack to get Hunter's Mark on it, like so. Then I'm going to use my action surge ability to give me my turn back. Then I'm going to use precision attack for my superiority die, no turn use required. Uh, which gives me, what, an advantage or something or other. Wasn't paying attention. Advantage to hit it, yeah. Then I'm going to switch on my Great Weapon Master Orb, which gives me a 99% with 99% chance to hit. And then, here's the fun part, folks. I use my main attack to use my weapon special ability, Topple the Big Folk, doing a major slashing attack, attempting to knock it prone, but I assume it's probably immune. 99% with advantage, I swing for... Yeah. 40 46 plus damage. Six. Nice. That's not bad at all. Well, not really bad at all. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Then I go again with this time with a, a pushing attack. I presume won't work. Lacerate. It cannot be bled. Go with the disarming attack to see what it does. 88% with advantage. I swing. Oh, it weapon drops. Weapon. Well done. I get another free sword. attack. For 88%. I swing. Look at you. And this is probably all I've got. I'm afraid, gentlemen. Uh, can I grab the weapon? Not enough movement to grab the weapon. Okay, your turn. Steel Watcher. <laughs> Miss me. Good dodge, well done. There you go. It's my turn to be shot. Yes, it is. And it's, works. it's coming in. You want me to stop it? Uh, no, I'll be alright. I'm on okay. full health. Not reacting? It worked. Might be. Oh, fuck. 24 damage. It had a couple of effects, but I managed to survive them both. Mr. Dirt. All right. Uh, Play done. Oh, oh, no, 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 let the Dirt go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to go through my spell scrolls and throw another lightning spell. Good, cool. Uh, which is ball, which is crap for this. It's the thunder. Ice. Fly. False life. Oh, I've got a funny feeling I only had that one big spell scroll. Well, balls. Okay. Um, I will cast haste upon myself. I will call the lightning down on top of the titan. Hmm. You hit the platform above. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, really? you fucking what? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Nice job. Du, 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 du. Well done, four. <laughs> Why are you incapacitated? <laughs> Why are you incapacitated? You stunned yourself? Did you, ca did did you haste yourself? Lethargic. Then? Consumed it by exhaustion in the aftermath. Yeah. Haste cannot move or take that, action, bonus call, actions, or reactions. Call lightning's a concentration. It has ten, to ten charges. <laughs> it's a oh, concentration boss. spell. Okay. Yeah. Alright, fine. Yeah. That's my turn gone. Air Marmadon. Right. Air oh, oh, yeah, Marmadon shall now hit the Steel Watch and Titan with the Flail of the Vortex, which does extra electrical damage. Nice. Very nice. Uh, and then he's going to stand there and tank whatever this thing is going to do. Oh. Hellfire Curse. Oh, God. Um, Dionic Dominance. No, you can't cast that spell. Nice. Defensive Protocol. Bulwark. Oh. Right. It's got its health back. That's the one. It's trying to heal. Yeah. Uh, who's it shooting? Oh, who's Desmond? Oh, you're Desmond Dirge. It's weird. Shall I block yeah, that? Rolled, uh... I've only got one. Yeah. Nine, sure nine, nine to 36. A hefty bolt that tries to pin down the target. Yeah, please. Okay, I'm going to interrupt him. There you go. Right. Mr. Q. Uh, Mr. Q. Q, sorry. Um... Right, I guess I'm just going to try and help you burst that thing down, I suppose. Mm -hmm. don't really see much reason to do anything else. I have advantage against it, apparently. So I'm going to fire from advantage. 39 nice. damage through its protection. Uh, and then going to fire again. Getting its health bar down, slowly but surely. Uh, and then I've got a bonus action, which I'm going to do this with uh let's see where can i go 
So I'm going to try this. I'm going to like move here, and I'm going to be like the penguin from Madagascar and be like, "You didn't see anything." <laughs> and then, and then I'm just going to crouch here. I don't think that will work for very long. Maybe I'll pass no. the stealth check. We'll see. I have faith. Okay. Wait, does that sh go show where he thinks you are? Yes. He thinks you you are where you're standing. Yes. But maybe I'll succeed the stealth check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He says, is he there? Is he? <laughs> okay, good luck, DB. Okay, telekinesis. I cannot move that target by force, but I can throw another Hellfire Watcher at him. Oh, the Hellfire Watcher saved my telekinesis bullshit. So that didn't work. So instead what we'll do is we'll shoot the Hellfire Watcher with my crossbow for eight. Booyah. I was also here, ending turn. Oh, my turn? Yep. Yeah. Okay, Lump Beef Froth. I'm, so with my Great Weapon Master uh, uh, engaged, I'm just going to start smashing on the Seal Watcher Titan. So I swing for 88% with advantage. Oh, oh I stopped brought, his thing. Yeah, you've bro broken him out of it. Okay, I'm going to once again try to disarm him with a melee attack for 88% with advantage. Down to three oh, health. Three health. Then I'm going to... Like pommel strike or something, something weird. Could do... Can I pick him up and throw him? No. Oh. Too heavy to throw. Um, before you kind of push him into his next phase, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that. He has a next off. phase. Uh, just in case you hit him and he starts to explode. Oh, that's a good. Like all point. the others have done. <laughs> let me let me do a pushing attack on him. Oh, I can't. He's too heavy. I'm just gonna fucking swing my weapon. 88%. I swing. He's huh. down. There we go. Is he exploding? He's oh no, no he just falls to pieces. Okay, Ooh. cool. That was okay. slightly less climactic yes. than I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, I was expecting like a kaboom. <laughs> yeah, Lump yeah, Beef Frost will then jump. Twelve though as well, so we're just absolutely ripping through things. And not enough action points, so I just end my turn there. Uh, nice. Opportunity attack, I take it. I missed. Out. No, I'm fine. Good dodge. Thank you. Get away from me. Right, let's see. Did I hide? Yes, I did! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Still hiding? Not hiding. Oh, 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 hiding. oh. Show yourself. Oh, okay. There we go. Right. Uh... He got just confused enough to let me slip by. Hmm. Right, well... Um, Desmond. I guess I'll move over here and... call lightning down again. And... There we go. That actually did something. Uh, quick spell flinger, and we'll do an Eldritch Blast on the Steel Watcher again. Nice. Hmm. Good turn. Urbadon shall use the flail! Yeah. The flail! <laughs> the flail! Esmeralda, the flail! Oh, pin down. Shot for 30. Right. Uh, now that my hunter's mark has rotted off of the target, Soviet, you can check this as well. But like, mm -hmm. basically, providing you don't get interrupted, you can reapply that hunter's mark for your bonus action huh. for free without like needing to recast it. So you keep an eye out for that because you oh, can yeah, just reapply complete. it. So I will reapply it to the Hell Watcher, and then I will fire two shots to have advantage against it. Apparently, yes, I do. It, I don't have advantage, but it's it's letting me do it anyway. So twenty-three to fifty. 85% chance to hit. Ooh, hit for 30 plus nice. 2. Yeah. And then fire a follow up shot. Wow. 36. Ah. Critical hit in the butt cheeks. Find a hole in its armor. Uh, uh -oh. It's going to go kabang. Uh oh. Uh, that's as much as I can do. My moment uh, might be about to meet his maker. I'm going to try um, and get as close as I can to this thing as possible. End turn. Okie dokie. I am going to run up the stairs here. Uh, so that I am standing face to face with this Hellfire Watcher. Uh, what is it weak to? It is weak to lightning. Uh, do I have any lightning scrolls that could be doing lightning related things? No. What I can do, however, is a hypnotic pattern. Uh, hold on, hypnotic pattern won't work. I mean, to... Psychic. Yeah. Uh, Crown of Madness won't work. It's psychic. 100 elemental. I couldn't bring another elemental to the fight. Uh, He'll get rid of your old one. What the fuck can I do? Uh, get! Oh, I know what I can 
Uh huh. Don't play your loot. <laughs> so, Fireworks. Fireworks. Colour spray. <laughs> right. Colour spray uh, means that it has disadvantage and range of attacks and spells are reduced to 10 feet. Oh, wow. You blinded so, it. Yes, I blinded it. But I blinded it with a firework. Uh, oh, and because I think you might need the help, Mr. Glennon. Where the fuck are you? Are you all the way over there? Totally uh, on the other side of the room. I cannot healing word you, so instead I shall shoot him with my crossbow. For a critical nice hit job. for seven. Mm. Ending turn. Mm. Quick question. Yes. Is, has Gortash nicked anyone of prominence who, whose brain could be in the big titan? No uh, idea. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, reapplying Hunter's Mark on this dude over here. Running up to smack him in the bum bum. Hot, hot take. Yep. The, the, the magnum opus guy should definitely have exploded with like a big, big, twice the area. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I tell you what, and then we would have to take cover behind the pillars or something? I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Oh, well. Right, write that down. Write yeah. That down. Um, okay, so uh, I'm just going to smack it, frankly. Um, yeah. Smack for 88. Uh, smack for 88. Miss again, third turn. And that's all she wrote. Good luck to Dirge. Move, a day to move. Oh shit. Uh, in, fire exhaust. I force so you to roll again. Ouch. That Ooh. did not help. You've been hell fired. Opportunity attack. Be careful. That's that's the stuff from Oh Jesus. That's that's the fire from the hells. That really scary fire that really hurts. Necro fire. Yeah, basically, it's that hellfire stuff. You remember? Yeah. Okay. to 36 damage Ooh. whilst on the surface. Ignores resistance yeah. and immunity to fire damage. Oh, shit. Right. Yes. I'm going to do another call lightning on this one. Nice one. How do I stop being on fire? Get out of the hellfire. You're any any hell water? Uh, no, I think you oh, need holy water, turn. surely. You need holy okay. water to combat hellfire, I'm surely. Going Probably. To... Hold on, I'm going to walk. And you fly and get where you need to be, Myrmidon. No, you can't. So instead, you're going to dash, as much as an air elemental can dash, to uh, there, and then go around your turn. Oh. Jesus. Same on you. Uh, opportunity attack. Sure, hit with the not? hit with the stick. Yep. Momentarily, didn't even notice. Yeah. Any second. <laughs> what? <laughs> it took it took a moment to register. I have known mayflies which have hit me more hurtful or something. Yes. Right. Okay. Ninety-five percent chance with the jump. Oh. Ah! No, Lump, you're very welcome. All right. No, it's fine. It's fine, Lump. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh huh. Don't worry, it's fine. Do you want to it's jump fine. away? No, no, it's fine. I'm jumping away. Fuck it's you, I'm fine. skipping it's my turn. <laughs> 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 Fucking right. hell. Uh, gonna enter. Enter. Step back a little bit. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm gonna move to here. I am going to. Then. I'm really interested to. Some of the bosses that we've fought, we've done pretty well against. I'm very interested to try this game on its tactician mode, yeah. the harder mode. And really cling to our fingernails for yeah. these fights. As am I, I we, we have going. walked through some of the fights. Yeah. Oh, uh, right. Hypnotic pattern will not work. Blindness will not work. Fuck it. Let's do, let's do shatter. Because they're made of inorganic material. So they get disadvantage on their saving throw to re... I nearly said their shaving throw. Disadvantage <laughs> on their shaving throw yeah. uh, to resist damage <laughs> against this. Shatter. Oh, sure. God damn money, it, money, penny. you still managed it. Get fucking, get fucking shot, you bastard. Nine damage, let's, let's go, baby. Not even double digits, I was also here. Ending turn. <laughs> uh, my turn? Yep, yep. all yours. Uh, lump, uh, mm, lumpy Broth is going to run here. Honor lumpy... mode makes boss fights even harder. Sorry, carry on. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, because the bosses get legendary actions and lair actions. I can't actually attack in melee despite my sword literally touching his back. Explain this to me. You're out of range. Uh, Damn! You're a big, you're a big sword girl. touching back! Yeah, it's still out of range. What the fuck? Okay, never mind. I'm just going to fire <laughs> fire my crossbow that I haven't up upgraded for fucking half the game. 
Um, <laughs> disarming attack. Nope, hang on. You're not doing like a charging attack. No, that's only if you've got a glaive or something or a spear. You're literally pointing Funniest the crossbow thing. in his back. I know! Explain this to me! Look! Point like some, blank rate. Some XCOM <laughs> shit going on right here. The broad side of a barn door. <laughs> Fucking hell. Right, ending turn. Someone else deal with this. Dirge, deal with this. Right, uh, call lightning on this guy. Twelve, he saved it. Bollocks. Um, I, that's it. That's all I can do, really. Take the air moment and elemental warp. Electric flail of death. Yeah. Have mm. some of that, you steel watcher prick, ending turn. Nice. <laughs> Good what dodge, well done. Uh -huh. Toes to the other side of the room. Right. Jogging around the corner and reapplying my Hunter's Mark 1d6 and bonus damage. Again, weirdly, have a. No, don't have advantage. At long last. 85% uh, chance of shoot. Uh, yep, we hit him. 26 plus 2. Another 85 percenter. And he's going to detonate. If one of you wants to finish him off, or you can just end turns and then we get a bang. Don't act out Yeah, wait, wait for Digby. He's never, on. never mind. Ah, uh, dude. I'd already clicked when he said. Well, okay, I'm, never mind. I'm going to be a team player and I'm going to do mass cure wounds on you all. Cool, thank you very much. Oh, nice. there is a really good bow here. Uh, Gontra Mail. It's a uh, 1d8 um, with promised victory on a hit, possibly inflicting guiding ball upon the target. Uh, this object shines with a glowing light for 6 meters. It's a plus 3 and it has celestial haste as a spell. Uh, uh, which I use bows? get haste for 5 turns, but not uh, 2. Did I have that? Yeah, it's. I'll fire that to you. Can I get oh, your look. Can yeah. I get your hand me down cue? Because I've got a crossbow from like chapter one. Yeah. So a legendary bow. Sorry, please. Yes, please. I didn't say please. Uh, possibly inflict guiding bolt upon the target. This object shines with a uh, and I steal haste. This bolt of celestial light. 30, 24 to 38 damage with 1d8 of radiance every short rest. Okay. Do you know what? I think it's time we give it a try. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, that looks glowy. awesome. Okay. okay. Click, click the neural switchboard. Uh, and then, yeah, you can have my hand me down here, Thank Lump, you. Uh, which is dead shot. Uh, Lump beef broth. There you go. Thank you very much. Right. Okay. Click in the neural switchboard. Neurositor awaits your input. Yep, to decipher the symbol. This has never historically gone badly for me. I was about to cast friends on a machine and realize it's a machine and I can't yeah, cast he, friends on he, it. Alan Turing. <laughs> what, what is with my dice rolls this campaign? They are all sub 10. Every single roll. Rolling again. Also, do you How think. How many inspirations do we have left? Four. <laughs> can, can, can I have a crack at Yeah, yes, of course you can. You cannot make sense of this complex machine. It's like me. Uh -huh. Well, I'm going to leave then. Goodbye. Fuck you, machine. Neurosity awaits your input. Yeah, do you know what? Uh, Lump, mate. Yeah. Uh, you can right. take the legendary bow. You sure? Yeah. Um, it's. That's 20. Let's go. Oh shit. Fuck off. Oh, nice. Let me listen in. Fuck off. Oh, did you get a nat 20? Watch. Controlling and connecting every single watcher in the city. Its technology is far beyond anything you have ever seen. You will need more than magic or steel to destroy it. We don't want to destroy it. <laughs> what if we talk to. Wait, 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 wait. Too late. The machine doesn't respond. What if we go and talk to the gnome outside? Yeah, he good said, idea. Get, yeah, get, yeah. Me to the, get me to the machine and I'll do the rest. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you this bow because it, this light aura that it has, um, it, it ruins my hiding. So, You sure? 
Yeah, yeah. So it's yours. So it's not, I, if not... I stand near you at all Go times, away. I can Go ruin away. your hiding, is what you're saying. Go away. I'm talking I regret... to the gnome. That is the gnome here. Nice. Hug, Q. Yep. Hug. Right, anyway. <laughs> then you Rossiter. I can hear its hum. Familiar, yet painful. I helped design the steel watchers, toiled night and day on the first bipedal prototype. It is fitting it ends this way. I will bring down not only the steel watch, but the very foundry itself. This place will be smoke and rubble when I am finished. What are you going to do? Yes, that's my question. What are you what are you going to do, small man? Like the foundry, the Neurositor's exterior is near impossible to penetrate. However, its inner circuitry is highly unstable. I'm going to rain fire upon it from the inside out. Can't we just like, I don't know. It looks like reprogramming them isn't a possibility. I, have yeah. Before we let him go ham. What, what, what? Shall I have a quick look around before we let him go ham inside the machine? Yeah, if we blow up the foundry. Have we got everything yeah. here? We can have a look. Have we looted every yes. of the every city watcher? Hang on. Let me see. I can I can stay in this conversation if you want. Hang on, checking out. Oh, there's an automaton component here, Digby. Oh, yeah, fling it over. We'll see yeah, if we can build your one. Your kind of curiosity, Gortash. A drow recruit brought this curious object from the Underdark. I have no idea what it signifies, but it's clearly of clockwork jiggery pokery, so I send it with my compliments, Kethrick. Oh. A book called Brain Chant. This head belongs a personal to channel written in square technical printing. The final entry is slanted. The letter's here? almost carved into the paper. I must find a way to avoid overnight control center monitor duty in the future. I must. There are no problems with the mechanisms. The hybrid Gondian slash Alithid devices work flawlessly. But at night, when the watchers are largely disengaged from complex duties, their brains, dear Gond, the brains, the brains begin to whisper psionically. Their whispers join and harmonize, and then the brains sing. And a song of such unutterable sadness, such deadly melancholy, that if I heard it again, I don't think I could ever survive the experience. I must find a way to enjoy, avoid monitor duty if I'm assigned again. Maybe if I came down sick, or I could cut off a finger. Would that be enough? Interesting. So the Dude, brain wow. the brain sing? So well, it, there's it, nothing. It gets darker and darker, doesn't Does it? Does this imply that they want to be freed? They're mourning? Yeah. Or they're st well, they still have personality. I say we do it. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else here. Okay. Get the gnome to do, do it. it, gnome. Is he going to blow himself up? Go on. He might have to. Let your hammer be my courage, your furnace, my heart. Does he have to? Can we not just like? It is time. Oh. Oh. Have a black screen. Oh, there we yep. go. Cut scene. <laughs> yeah, probably a good time to go. Is it going to be cool guys? Don't look at explosions. We're looking at. Oh, look at that! Ooh. We definitely Ooh. looked at it. And I imagine if we go around the city now, all of the steel watch maybe have just shut yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah, they have. Look at this. They've collapsed. The ones guarding the We're boat. Alive. Oh, hang on. All Blessed of the steel God. watch. He's alive. Just collapsed. He's alive. And the foundry oh, crumbles behind us. Yet we paid the price in blood. So few of us remain. Gond's name will soon fade into the annals of history. Who's Gond? Yes, who's Gond? Yeah. I must leave now and gather those of us still standing. Look after this city, my friend. <laughs> I pray it treats you better than it did us. This is this is where he walks but, but, off five yeah. feet into the pl and plunges into the into the harbor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with a plop, and just sinks. Before you go, do you have this anything you can build that might help with seven thousand vampires? By order of <laughs> Um, hang on, sorry, before we continue, a uh, yes. Q, someone in the chat said the light on the bow can be switched off. Oh, right. Can it? Let, me send, let me send it to you and you can try and figure it out. Uh, 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 I mean, I can't see a switch on it. <laughs> um, they say it's in the passives tab. 
Ortho, it is. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll send you back the original bow then. Thank you. Thank you to whoever that was. Uh, Love beef broth. There you go. Thank you, sir. Nice. Thank you, person. All right. Um, let's go fuck up Gortash. But I'm, uh, I'm probably out of time for that. Yeah, there's what only five minutes left. What about... Um, what, sorry, what's there a side mission we could do? We oh, talked about it before that. we went to the I foundry. To, we need to give the fucking head back. Yeah, there's I've got, that. I've got, just got the head of this fucking clown in my bag. Dribbles uh, the clown. Uh, so oh, the stolen gold with the with um fucking, what's her name? Where'd you guys go? Oh yeah, the bank house. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh wow! I found a chest of six mind flayer parasites. Ooh. Oh nice. My, oh, oh wow, that's kind of fun. Do, do we take I Dribbles don't... the Clown back to that weird lady in the circus? I don't think we have all these parts. Do oh. we? I don't know. All I have is the head. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so there was a chest at the back which was um, like illusioned. Um, and then when I went up to it, it broke the illusion and it's like a little mind flare like husk thing transport. Oh yeah. Weird. Hold on, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do what's best for Baldur's Gate. You can throw oh, them in the fuck. river. They go into the they go into the fucking concealed pool, don't they? I was literally gonna throw them in the fucking river. Don't <laughs> tap swim in the water. They just yeah, infect some fishermen. <laughs> Not if they're in jars, they don't. Ah, <laughs> doesn't make any difference now. My my brain is yeah. complete total total yeah. rot. What would be, from from the Elder Brain's perspective, what would be the most annoying thing for us to forcibly infect? Like some cow or something? A rabbit. Yeah. Like they're having, a, they're, they're having an illithid conversation and all of a sudden a random intrusion by some barnyard animal. Probably that laughing monk. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> that would really annoy him. <laughs> yeah, it just becomes like a boo boo sailor constantly yeah. in the corner of the Elder Brain's <laughs> mind. <laughs> 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 so for fuck's sake... Right. Uh, that's what I would do. I would find like a herd of 500 pigs and infect them all. <laughs> Just something to wind up the elder brain. around the Sword Coast's most secure bank without permission. The guards are oh, dear. permitted to pass. What have we You're done? Stealing things. Uh, no, I went things. to the back of the counting house to see if I could find where the people went, but uh, um, can we go? I, I got told to no. Can we go quickly back to the the circus if that's okay? Yeah, sure. So, uh, sure. hang on. Yeah, hey, back to Worms Crossing. Because the chat said to go back to the circus to find something. I'm not sure what they were talking about. Yeah. Well, it's where we found our mojo as a band, so it might be a good place yeah. to rediscover it. <laughs> Isn't the circus like a war zone now? Yeah, there's uh, lots of dead people. Yeah, but in fairness, they were all fucking absolute cultists, so they had to die. Right? Yeah, sort of. Yeah, I suppose. Not all of them. But, but most. Not all of them were cultists, but yeah, a sizable portion. Hmm. Worms crossing. I need to get a better PC. I was having a cooling trouble with my PC at the start of the stream. It was like yes. revving up like crazy. Yeah, so I, that that really hot day that we had a couple of days ago um, tripped my uh, overheat on mm. my uh, on mine. Um, but it was yeah, it was really dusty. So maybe it's time for a clear out of like the vents, filters, fans, all the rest of it. Mm. Um, and I put some new thermal paste on the CPU, and it's it it, it tripped at seventy five degrees, Jesus. but now, but now it's running at. Uh, a, a 30, stable 30. Mm. So, yeah, it was, it was just totally plugged up with dust, all of the uh, dust filters. Chat, what am I looking for? So that, that would be my advice. Cool. Uh, it's deserted. No, it's lots of people. It's mostly just the uh, the people that are here, oh, it? like man. the workers. That's why it's deserted. I'm slow, because I'm carrying too much shit. Let's send that to the camp. I should be able to move oh, again. There we go. Dribbles. Dribbles. 
My wife is heartbroken. Hang on. Those two would chat from dawn until dusk. Where are you dusk, going? Um, where are you being directed? I'm I don't know. Sure a sizable contribution from an this guy? adventurer such as yourself Ooh. would... Oh, I got two other magicians jamming with me, guys. Oh, uh, uh, I'm in chat with somebody for the parts of dribbles. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, hang on. Oh god, it's. <laughs> it's, it's... Uh... Oh, this fine lady. Yes, oh, customs are her head. favorite. I can't afford that. When their facial structure is as unique as yours. Ah, oh, I see. Hang on, guys. What's up? <laughs> Tremendous. <laughs> Oh, God. Steady, darling. <laughs> Let us put this towards our getaway in the Moonshay Isles. I'll have your statue <laughs> shipped to your camp. Uh, don't listen you to the conversation. Love it. We guarantee it. What have you? What have you bought? Uh, hang on. You guys stay here a second. Right. We've wait, drum, wait there. So I'll grab a violin. What are we playing? Bard dance. Yep. Uh. <laughs> there are giant stone statue of you in the camp now. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. You should come I and look. Come and look see at it until I travel to the. You camp. should come yeah. and look and see what's in our camp. Hold on, I'm oh, going God. to the camp. Uh, oh, we're back outside. Where? It's marvelous. Where? What Isn't it marvellous? Oh my, oh my look at what I bought for the camp. It's a perfect addition, I feel. They've captured my essence. My naked, naked essence. The true hero of Baldur's Gate. It's got one hit point. I can't No, don't, 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 don't you dare. Don't you, don't you dare. Don't you dare. That was like all of my gold for like the entire playthrough. Really? It was, it was totally worth it. Yeah. Wait, it has well, a buff? What does it say? Just look at those cheekbones, it says. Well, it, they got the size of the leaf about, right? <laughs> Wait, gazing upon this depiction of themselves will bless the owner of the statue once per long rest. Okay, gaze upon it. What do you get blessed with? I don't know. What do I get blessed with? Uh... Click it. Find out. Can't seem to click it. Yeah. Permanent bless? Are you just looking longingly into your own Apparently. Eyes? Oh, steeped in bliss. What's that? No, that's the uh, thing that these weird Wajiti grub has. That it's a Gareth thing. Hmm. Oh, well. needs a needs a long rest. Okay, well we'll deal with that later. Okay. Right. Are we out of time this evening? Well yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That was a cool fight. Got to go and jam with the bards back at the uh, the. Yeah. Let's go back to the let's go back to the thing. Hang on. Yeah. Where are the bards? It's bard dance here. There's a couple of them. There's already a flute player. You've been outsourced, Lump. Uh, I've been outsourced. Any other instruments? Hang on. Oh, uh, you could just whistle. True, I could. Hang on. Old time battles. Uh... So we've already got a drummer. Oh, yeah. It's. Uh... There we go. Where's our Digby? Where's, where's our Gareth? The party's the party's here. Digby? Yeah. What's he doing? Is he up to mischief? Who's he got? This is yeah. exactly this is exactly Gareth of the Gates' scene. Yeah. Oh nice. dear. So yes, Beautiful. I suppose we need to consider that maybe the next stream will be the big finale. I mean, it's possible. Uh, I mean, well, I mean, we'll have the Nether Stones. Certainly, we've got will. a gore, we've got a gore attached. Is he not the big finale? Maybe. Uh, well, no, because that's that's the Elder Brain. So I think we've probably got another there two, Hello, maybe Gareth. three. Hello, we were jamming sorry. out. Yeah. I presume we're out of time. Yes, yeah, for tonight at least. Yeah. 
Anyway, yeah. Well, um, yeah, thank you guys. Wednesday doable. Yes, I'm up. Up. Yeah, that's I'm up. Yeah, that's it. For it. Um, so uh, from Monday next week, I'll be in uh, Norway. Um, oh, so I, fuck. So, so, no, that's fine. I can absolutely play on Helena's PC. I have done in the past okay. um, when I've been over there. So so that's okay. Um, so, yeah, I can I can absolutely still make Monday session. I think, Gareth, you said you needed the 26th off, which is that I Wednesday. I need the 26th because we're, my plan is to do some reforger testing. Right. Um, just to make sure that... Uh, oh. If we can start running big ops on Reforger, I'm going to. And uh, well, that is the only day I'm free to really run it. Well, not okay. free, but it's the only day I actually have next week that is somewhat doable. <laughs> that okay. makes sense. Um, okay. I might be able to shift it to Tuesday and want to do Baldur's Gate Monday, Tuesday. Sure, I'll have to. I must, yeah, someone's trying to book me for something on Tuesday, so. Yeah, that's all um, right. Okay, so yeah, well, so yeah, so it looks like Monday next week is available. Uh, Wednesday, uh, Digby's not available. But um, he said I... next week, not this Wednesday? No, this no. Wednesday, I'm this fine. Wednesday, next fine. Wednesday, next Wednesday so is a problem. I thought it was Wednesday. Okay. Okay. So right. yeah, so we're, we're playing, uh, yeah, in a couple of days then. Cool. Yeah. All right, see awesome. you then. Well, right. have a, have a lovely evening. Yes, likewise. Thank right. you, everyone. Is anyone going to keep later, streaming? Guys. No, uh, I'm going to head off. No, I've got to be in London tomorrow, so I'm also going to depart. Cool. All, All right. good. Have a good one, guys. Well. Bye. 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 Right. Thank you for watching, everyone. So that was our Baldur's Gate playthrough continued. Uh, hang on. Here is a dog being an upside down dog right about now. Uh, hang on. Zoom into her. So before I go, an update on what I'm doing on the YouTube side of things. Uh, hang on. Right. Can you hear me from there? So basically, um, what I'm currently doing is I'm working on making a script for a video essay on the game Sons of the Forest. It's going fine, no problems. Um, it's just that there's obviously quite a lot to write. Um, I'm not sure if I can easily quantify how far through I am, truth be told, beyond roughly saying probably about a quarter of the way through of the entire script writing process. Granted, I've only just started that script writing process, like on... Thursday so a quarter isn't that bad but yeah so still steadily working through it as best I can and we'll hopefully just kind of continue with it really so bear with me um yeah beyond that there's not a huge amount going on uh just the routine of of live stream and then get on with YouTube editing stuff for obviously the script writing and um yeah yeah that's it really right do I think this Sons of the Forest project will be as big as the last one? That's the question, Shimson. That's the that's the million dollar question that we need to figure out. Let me write the script and then compare it against the. Um, so I know that roughly, roughly, the the original Forest script was about thirty six thousand words. I was it words or characters? It might be characters. Sorry, thirty six thousand words sounds wrong. Thirty six thousand something it must be characters. Um, so I know that it was about that long. So let me pen, let me pen this um, uh, script and then compare it, and then I should have a rough guide of exactly how 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 long are we talking here. Um, thank you, Darcian and Jarv Shadow. Thank you, Stratera and Sopamuna. Thank you, Uri Kane and Natty Thick and Nadir and Jackafir and Moonadu. Thank you, everyone. Right. Thank you again. Have a good evening. Let me leave you in the company of. Right. Okay, so who's doing what? My brother's on Quebec. So no, Quebec and Digby are both filling, uh, fin well, finishing. So let me leave you with my, uh, for some reason, bald as an egg brother, Lamram, who's doing, what's he doing? Lethal Company, apparently. I'll leave you with him. So thank you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Reset chat, quick reset. We are just gonna sort something out. Uh, apparently, our mods might be broken.